Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. LG Ultra Gear Fight Night. We went to through, we've been to two parts of the world, right? We went to Europe, then we traveled <laughs> across whatever ocean that is to get to North America, <laughs> and now we're across whatever ocean that is because we're now mm -hmm. in Asia. As you can yes. see, if you guys want to get any of these sick prizes below, though, you guys have been spamming it already, but keep spamming it in the chat. LG Ultra Gear, 27 GP 850 Nano IPS 1 MS, because you can win some sick prizes like those things here. But look, oh my God, look at these players, dude. Oh, yes. So excited oh. to see them again. Rox, Ni, nee, we got JDCR, Kare, Gen, Take, we got Chanel, Nobi, Rangu, John Ding, and Chikorin as well. Double oh. elimination tournament out of here, guys. Here is Ooh. the bracket. We got a couple extra players, obviously, right? Kare Chanel, first round matchup, and Rang Chu Take. Winner of Kare Chanel gets Boy. Nobi, and then winner of Rang Chu Take gets Chicken. Then we got Gen versus John Ding, and also, of course, JDCR versus Ni. Nee. We're going to see that match. It's going to happen. That so, is crazy. Everything about this is crazy. Guys. Yeah, I mean, oh, right, yeah. You, got a, you got a handful of Japanese players, you got a handful of Korean players. One question I got to ask is, Ren Chu Korean or Japanese? What do we say? Because, <laughs> you know, yeah, he's both now, right? All right. So we're already jumping into it. Holy crap. It's going to be a, a quick one here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, oh that's my boy. Kade, oh, Rocky yes. McCann, Ryu. And Chanel with Eliza. More Eliza today. We've had Eliza in every single tournament. Yeah, I'm Stop telling me about how bad this character is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need We've her, though. I need four in three tournaments. Come on. I need more, more Ganryu. And Kade's been rocking the Ganryu pretty quickly, you know, a lot. So I'm excited Ooh. here. Those cool mm -hmm. boy. All right, all right. Let's get things started here, boys and well, girls. LG Ultra Gear Fight Fun. Night for Asia. Ganryu. Kade from Japan. Eliza <laughs> Chanel from Korea. It's been a while since we've seen a lot of these players, right? We didn't know what character Chanel was going to rock with early on. I knew Kade was going to be Ganryu because he's been playing Ganryu pretty much uh, ever since he came out, right? He's been Ganryu main. He's been, he was known mainly for Kazumi before this. His Bro, his back is sweet. sick. Oh, Clap. got clapped. Did it break this wall? No. Oh. 443. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, no. He should have broke that damn wall. Uh, he's gonna take a little damage here and begin to have to deal with the mix up right after, but he's gotta watch this. And think about it. Think about the Oki. Here it comes. He's got up and block. down for three blocks. Okay. Stays alone. Chanel first round. Try to block that. Wow. Nice patience there, Kare. And you can see that was like a fuzzy low fairy too. Yeah. Ooh, goes over the down three. In the back. Yeah, he had an opportunity there, it looks like, right? But he didn't really trigger anything. Yeah, Boop still gets the float though. Mm -hmm. Nice 2 1 tie 2. Drops no. the combo though. <laughs> Solid lead here. Just gotta chill, maybe. Right, nice steps there. Oh, the block on the down forward too, but nothing from Chanel. Down to 10 seconds wow, left again. Dude. Nice punish, and he has super as well. This could be yep. a ton of damage. A ton of time, actually. It's probably more. Yeah, now he's chilling. Three seconds. Steps on it. Not enough. Whoa, that was dangerous. I feel like a 1 plus 2 there might have been good. Let me tell you something. As soon as he went to sleep, Kade should have done a great job. Rage Art would hit Rage 100%. Yeah. And his grounding? His Rage Art gets grounded no matter what. And wow. it, won't always, it won't always put you in that in the, in the uh, Rage Art animation. So actually, yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe because I don't know if her sleep puts her airport. Uh, that's, if she's grounded, it wouldn't. It wouldn't work. Okay. Regardless of Chanel, up two rounds here. Looking to make it a full sweep of the first game. Wall carry? Yep. Oh boy, too close to the wall. Too much carry. Kari, what do you got? Down twos? Double down two. Oh, nice block. Clap. Low oh, carry? Big. Oh, nice combo. 
has the has all the rage in the world. What's he gonna do with it? Nothing. Oh, that's okay. huge! That's huge! Rage Art! No, bro! He's gonna... Guys, it's not here. Rage Art should be good here. Should kill. And if it doesn't kill, the nice thing about this Rage Art is that he has hella plus. But I don't think it matters. I think she is dead. Wow. Clutch, low parry into Rage Art. Bakari keeps him alive. Game one. Chanel, that wall carry may come back to haunt him, right? Like, he could, I think, one extra jab, maybe? Wow, besides the mid, the first hit, Fireball whiffed, or hit, but the second one whiffed. Now for 1 4, Chanel tried to block for a duck the last hit. Wow, good back dash. Wow, look at all these pokes there coming out from Chanel, just spamming him with the jabs, down forward ones. Yeah, all that, like, well defended by Karin, but slowly Chanel breaking through here. The longer range attack, finding the mark. Chanel half life bar lead, but gets floated out with the down forward one that time. Here comes Kare. Forward two, floated out of the air too. 14 seconds left. Same situation, it's so, it's so familiar today. Yep. He's got oh, hit by no. the second one. He's got five seconds. No, he what? dashed up oh, and he just wanted went for it. I think he yeah. wanted him to sleep. I think he talked him into it, Rick. He's like, <laughs> he's gonna go to sleep, and my rage is no, gonna work. You don't do it then. You hit him on the ground, <laughs> boom, it's gonna work. Rick's the Tommy. That's what he said, you know? He doesn't understand English, calm down. That's what he said, yeah, I heard him. <laughs> he doesn't even know who I am. That's <laughs> the best part. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Damn, man. Dog. Regardless, I mean, you know, first game. Listen, I'm a little biased here, obviously, as a Ganryu main. Mm -hmm. I don't yep. care about Eliza one bit, so let's go, Kare. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, man, I mean, Chanel played that so well, right? And Kare, just yeah. seemed like he just couldn't break down the offense, right? Because Chanel was just in his face constantly, dive kicking and all this other stuff. So, yeah, the one one. ones were interesting, too, right? He would just be like, 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one, one. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, bro, that's so odd. And, like, a lot of times it felt like Kare would, like, like the one whip, and you would stand up or try to attack into the second one, or you get hit by the, like the first one. Like, bro, like just chill, just chill. Yeah. Or you duck the first one, stand up into the second. Like, you just uh, throw them off. It seemed like. Mm -mm. All right, so we'll see who wins this next match here. Uh, man, this whole entire bracket is crazy, though. It is, it is insane to see the care the players in there. Like John Ding, we haven't seen him yeah. play in a minute. Uh, Nobi as well, Take. And so, like, there's so many players, not only from, from Korea, but from Japan as well. It's, like, it's a mm -hmm. ton of just, you know, Gen. Gen has been killing it in Japan recently. He's been doing a lot of work in those online tournaments as well. So, man, I'm, I'm excited. Using? That's the thing. I, have, I think he's kind of, like, on the Leroy, Falcom Rom. You know, he's the kind of player that plays mm -hmm. a lot of different characters, so. A lot of top tier kicks, is that what you were going to say? <laughs> no, not, not top three, necessarily, because he was winning with Shaheen. And back then, that was when Shaheen was just like, yeah. Nah, Shaheen's eh. always been great. <laughs> <laughs> Shaheen's always been even great. Even when that's... everyone... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Even when everyone said he was dead, right? <laughs> uh, man. But yeah, let's see what happens to this one. Uh, Chanel looking good overall, though. I think, like, Kari, it's, you know, he's the he's same kind of situation like a shadow match, right? He's just waiting too long and letting Chanel keep the life lead for too long. So he's always fighting back... Uh, too late as time is winding down it seems like yeah i don't know what 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 uh will happen there in this match uh obviously i think they're just trying to get the matches set up here uh i mean we could we could talk about some other matches that we have in the bracket too right because obviously i think the one everyone's looking at is the one everyone knows the the stories behind it and everything is knee versus jdcr right the interesting thing is, you know, this felt like the patch, like the JDCR patch, you know, like the Dragon Off got buffed, you know, and the Heiachi yeah. got buffed, right? Armor King. All of, all of his characters got buffed, and yet I still don't know which character he he would like to play in this tournament, you know. And then you got all it did was uh, give him more of a character crisis. You know? <laughs> uh, wait, yeah. you buffed all my characters, all all of them? I don't even want to do. Hey, Hachi. Hey, Hachi. <laughs> and then you have Ni nee on the other side, who is the kind of guy that plays every character. He doesn't care what you do to the patch. It's like, all right, well, I'll just play this character then, whatever. I mean, I, mm -hmm. last time I saw Ni nee play in tournament or in, in a stream setting where he's playing like in a competition, he was using Negan. And it's like, sure, you know, it's Ni. Nee. We don't. Nee in his name. 
Yeah, know? it's like we don't we don't really consider it all that much, right? But it is, you know, he is he is so good that he can play whatever character he feels like, and it seems like he'll do work with it, right? So, man, that says he, they reckon he's gonna go Lily. If if uh, JDCR goes Devil Jin, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. I was like, I was like, what's he gonna do? What? Like, wow, he only picks that for like mission was right? I mean, I guess <laughs> right if JDCR picks Heihachi. Me could go Lily. That would be incredible. That would be gross. It would be. <laughs> but you know there'd be some people real mad about Lily winning again. Yeah. This goes uh, against everything I stand for. You know? <laughs> Lily's I mean, supposed to suck. There's I mean the, the other other players in here, you know, obviously you got John Ding, who I don't know if he's even an any player anymore at this rate, right? I'm sure What's he's an Eddie character? player still. He had, a, he had a Julia for a Chloe, while. Chloe, and he had a Chloe for a minute. But yeah, Chloe I think the Julia good. is probably the character he likes right now. And there's mm-hmm. Chikudin, who I don't know what character he's playing. I think last time I seen Chikudin Lydia? play, he was playing Lydia. Yeah. yeah I mean, with Chikudin, you know, he's always bouncing around. Mm-hmm. He's a huge student of the game, though, right? So with yeah, Chikudin, you kind sure. of expect him to be able to be play all these characters. And this is kind of whatever he feels like is the best one. I feel like when... Uh, that year started the one that he won. You know, at the very beginning, he was really on geese, and it was like, "You guys, mm-hmm. you guys don't see how strong this character is. I'm the only one. All right, fine. I've been playing it, but I guess I'll just beat you all." You know, and was like, "Who's this guy? I don't know. He must have got lucky." You know? <laughs> like, uh, that's what it seemed like, at least, right? Nah. Uh, so it's pretty wild. I mean, and you had like uh, his. Uh, he, I mean, he swapped over to Akuma in the finals, right, against Ulsan. And it's just the only mm-hmm. time he played Akuma the entire day, he brought it out against the guy that was killing everyone else. Did you he hear doing the war behind that? Uh, he, I think, what, he just knew that Ulsan didn't like playing against Akuma? They had, he had, they had stayed together at some point. And when they stayed together, he beat him with Akuma. And so when they met in the grand finals, like, all right, well, I'm bringing out Akuma now. <laughs> like, like, this guy can't beat my Akuma. So he already knew ahead of time, basically. You know what's so funny is because I'm an Akuma player. When I was an Akuma player, like, I would get hate from people that never played it. Like, CBM walked up to me one day and he said, Akuma's cheap. And I'm looking at him like, we haven't even, pl- I haven't even played you. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I know Akuma's cheap. My Akuma's probably not that cheap, though. Why are you complaining to me? Well, I'm playing wait, at least wait, a few where, where did he tell you that, Ricky? Where did he tell you that? I think right after he lost to Akuma. <laughs> where? What did that I don't remember. It was one of those things where he just wanted to tell me that. <laughs> It's probably uh, after Combo Breaker, right? Yeah, maybe. Some event after Combo Breaker. Everyone, yeah. everyone knew you were the Akuma guy after that, because everyone's like, "There's no way that guy should have gotten that close," you know? <laughs> it's all, like it was all Akuma. You're like their uh, their case in point. We told you. Look at this guy. Even this guy can do it now. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'm I'm 100 yeah. like that too. Like if I'm the one making it there, you should you should definitely be like, "Yeah, Akuma's hella good." Yeah, but dude. you know. Don't complain to me. <laughs> I'm not winning anything. <laughs> Maybe you could be. I mean, you almost won something. Uh, I mean, you made top eight tournament when a lot of people didn't, you know? That's what they were thinking about. And only because of Akuma, Rick. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I'm not going to deny that. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to admit that. What the no, heck? No, I'm, I'm, I'm 100 with that, dude. Like, because when people Come complain on. about Akuma, no, when people complain about Akuma, I'm not here saying just backdash, bro. I'm saying, yeah, he's messed up. Yeah, he's you cheap. can try backdash. He's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> he's cheap. That's the reason. Why do you think I play him? That's the whole uh, reason why I played him. <laughs> man, how come you don't play him anymore? Yeah, he was too much fun. And plus, you know, is he, he though? Has, yeah, I, I genuinely have more fun playing him than Akuma. Okay. Because I don't like okay. dropping combos. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that feeling. The dropping combo feeling. Get it out of my system. Right, hopefully I think All we got right the magic right. set up here. Right, Shima building. Chanel caught it. Chanel up 1-0 here. Let's see if Kari has some adjustments. I believe Kari is also one of the official pro license holders in Japan as well, so you know, he gets invited to all, any of those like offline Tekken events that they used to run. So he's no stranger to these big competitions and invitations like that, but 
you know, he did what he did a lot of his work early on with Kazumi. So the, the Andrew coming out, I'm loving it. Yeah, and he stopped not, too, right? I'm not loving that. He, he, he's he's like me. He's Ganryu only. Okay. Was he a Ganryu player prior? I mean, he must have been. I assume he must have been if you put Ganryu in his name. <laughs> that's that's a All hard right. commitment, dude. It's not like Joey Fury not playing Brian, you know. <laughs> Round two. So I gotta bring that up, man. Come on, man. Because we got a bunch of people that put like weird character titles in their game and they don't play that character. You about to make a change of game. <laughs> Joey Marduk. <laughs> No, Craig Fury. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Fury's a good name. <laughs> Pretty good. It's Brian's brother. <laughs> the big tall one from uh, Australia, or wherever the hell he's from. Nathan Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy. Oh, um, big damage. Nice. The wall standing two finishes it out. Three. Fight. <laughs> Now 4 2 finally gets punished there. The reason why that's been hard to punish is because of those follow up jabs like that. Hey, hey. Wall carry, like the hand slaps. Down forward. Down forward threes and down forward ones. So good with Ganyu, but nice wall spot there for Chanel. Alright, good position right now. But Chanel does have a bar to work with. Damn, wow. the vertical wow. dive kick three added counter hit. Yeah. You know, the one thing is that Kata's been getting a lot of those down four twos to float out. But Chanel's been jumping a lot, but hasn't been consistent with it. Nice! Wow, oh, what, what a clap! Jab, man, it really freaks me out when they do the jab and the ray chart. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like automatic. Like, the ray gonna kill anyway. Yeah, it's automatic, though. It's gonna... It's, uh, it's just another it, chance you know? to mess up. You know, that's all it is. <laughs> Alright, Del no, Kare. Mm -hmm. One round away from tying it up. Damn, down hey, forward hey. three, down forward one, down forward two. <laughs> how many how many times can I hit you with all these buttons when I press that in the right? Nice, got the jab too. This is bad news for Chanel. Mm -hmm, huge. Oh, what a jump back though on the slide. He didn't spend any meter, so he still has some meter to make his comeback. Also with oh, rage. Oh boy, does he? Straight into rage art. Yeah, I think this is gonna kill too. Maybe not though. She actually has a little. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> He's hella dead. Oh, Raw rage art. Here we go. Set point. For Chanel, Karik trying to get a game in here. Looking good here, but yeah, nice punish again on that down 4 2. The down 4 2 mix up is kind of a risky one for Ganryu, but you have to do it if you want to try to get these damages. Nice, if one gets blocked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he called. He called that. Down 4 2 there, not working out that time. Oh, collapse oh, gets interrupted. But it's down 4 2, though. Gonna get to the wall. No, didn't oh, want to do the. Didn't want to do the regular ender because he thought he was too close to the wall. Oh, oh nice no. down jab. That was actually gonna punish anything Kade did, whether he finished jabs or not. So that was the right choice from Chanel, getting the max damage and the wall splat there. Good choice, and he goes out 2-0, goes on to the winner's side. Kade Damn, unfortunately in the loser's bracket. Damn. <laughs> and that loser bracket, you know that first round so rough, guys. First to one game, so it's gonna be very, very scary for Kare down there. Uh, but man, nicely done by Chanel. Uh, but look at this match coming up next. Woo boy, Rang Chu versus Take. Dang. Now is Rang Chu still using the Bears? That's a that's a question we don't know, right? These both players, I'm not sure what character they're maining right now because you got Rang Chu, who you know was a Bear player. And I say was because I feel like I haven't seen him play Bears ever since he won the, the Tekken World Finals. Ever since he won that, he's like, I'm, I can retire Bears finally. They suck. I am a Julia main from now on or whatever. <laughs> Character, right so he's kind of been all over the place you know he, he, all over the place meaning that he even went from korea to japan now he's in japan more often <laughs> so you know 
he's he's touching all bases, right? But Take, on the other hand, you know, we knew him as a Kazumi main, right? The Kazumi. No, guy. no, we knew him yeah. as a Brian player, as one of the Brian players. That's you. I knew him as a Kazumi player because I thought his Brian was whatever. <laughs> what? Come on. Come I mean, on. But Take, Take, you know, he can, he keeps jumping around different characters. We haven't seen him play Brian since 7.0. That's what I'm trying to say. I haven't seen his Brian yeah. since then. So it's like, it's been a long time, right? Kazumi's been, been the, Kazumi's been the main character. I don't know if that's the character he's going to rock now or if he's going to decide to go with maybe, you know, one of the newer characters. He likes Steve early on. And yet, Paul and Julia. Not, okay, so I remember he did have a Paul early on. In the you know right around the time where he really stopped playing Kazumi, he was testing out a lot of different characters. Paul was one of them. Oh, haven't heard Actually, what Japanese players? Like, we don't know exactly all of their uh, online players, but yeah, okay. All right, now talking with the Phoenix, looking pretty sharp. Get that first loss in rank two. You know what, Julia? Uh, I would have liked to see it there, but you know, I understand. <laughs> Aren't you pretty good again? Uh, Julia is way better, though. Yeah, that's let's, for sure. <laughs> let's, let's, not, let's not act like it, it, it ain't what it is. Julia is a strong character. Oh, Look at this walk. That, that character's strong? Walk. The one that you can just one, walk to her back very slowly while she's all one, blue? Two. I mean, what, you don't even know what, what their raid drive is? <laughs> you gotta think about it's it. It's a launcher! Oh. Every time it hits you, you get a launch fight. I hate that thing. <laughs> So you get hit with some stupid low, you're like, wait, that's, that's gonna launch you with the rage drive? That's terrible. It always does. Yeah, very good. But I mean, Aki right now with the ball, kind of not the character we are, we're used to seeing him play, but... We'll see if it works out here. I'm sure, you know, honestly, because Rank 2's been in Japan more often, I'm, I'm, I feel like he's gotten more reps in with the Japanese players, right? So, I wonder how his, uh... His gameplay has changed. That's so true. And he's the hybrid. Round three. Nice. He's like the Korean player that went to Japan and became a Japanese player, so he's got both styles in him now. Yeah, it's like when Mad Dog Jin came to Soul Count and got worse. But he's the hybrid with <laughs> a terrible one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got Korean Soul Count. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna end up well. Ranchu now with a huge lead. I would I would say Take's in the lead with Paul, but it's like Round four. with these two players, Point. it's not so I'm not as confident. No. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> the Phoenix. Oh Phoenix is still strong, baby. He's trying to keep this wall pressure there too, not letting Ranchu out. And Jesus, 14 Final seconds. That might have been the fastest round all day. Fight. Maybe. Final round, game one here, rank two and Take. Julia versus Paul, of course. What else did you expect to do? Hop kick! Nice. Oh, try to get the grounded hit there. No dice though. Rank two block it. Now rank you with the mix-up, they're about even and healthy. And party crash the magic form, no combo! Party crash in the magic form, what is it? Old ass tech in. If it works, it works. Oh my goodness. Oh, Take out of rage too. Now he has it. And he down 4 2 wins the game. And he gets this win. Now he yeah, wins the game. Take with the lead now and rage. You know, like a 1 2 is going to win the game. Party Crasher. You know he's going to use that blue stuff. Yeah, oh, no oh. blue stuff. You asked yeah. for it, Ricky. That was all I your knew. fault. Poor I rage. Knew Listen, I knew he was going to do it, but I didn't think he was going to do it for it to hit and kill. I thought it was just going to come out like, oh, I have rage. I'm going to just throw some blue stuff out. They're going to block it. And then, you know, situation reset. Nah, he's like, no, I'm going to make this hit. I'm going to make sure this hits. All right, look, I I'm going to I'm going to level with you guys. When Take became a Kazumi player, I stopped becoming a Take fan, <laughs> you know, but Take with the Phoenix. <laughs> right this guy. I like I like what I'm seeing here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's you know, Take wasn't necessarily the most. Well, I mean, it's hard to be flashy with Kazumi, right? The flashiest Dude, Kazumi back when he started with her, right? Because Kazumi the character was a lot more frustrating to watch back then. I mean, uh, the flashiest Kazumi player is Ulsan, and but that's mainly because he's dashing in your face. It's like right? for no reason. <laughs> yeah, that's Ulsan, right? He's aggressively in your face and beating you up, right? Beating you up with his youth. 
<laughs> Cheater. <laughs> right oh, choose a man. Versus Taki. Yeah, also, right choose a teammate, you know, Donuts USG. I believe that's the same team as Gan. So, you know, he got some, he got some good teammates around him. Fight. Wow, this is, this is crazy though. Taking it to the smallest stage against the Paul. I would be scared for my life. If you're Julia, Julia, what would you want? You would want like a... Uh, no, I, I mean, I would want a stage like this against anyone but Paul. <laughs> Just because it's scary, <laughs> right? Yeah. But the thing about this small stage is that Julia, no matter where she launches you from, she'll probably hit another wall, no matter what, so... She has one of those crazy wall carries type of situations. I'll always hit the bag. Oh, it's no. not good. Bow and arrow block. Punished. Get it out of here. 1-0 now in round. Oh man, Taki's pressure is pretty crazy right now. Yeah, I like it. I'm a fan. Paul is so good. He is definitely too strong. <laughs> and I'm a Paul fan. <laughs> you see that they're both ducking each other's faces? Like, what are you gonna do? I don't know what you're gonna do, but I'm scared. Hey, hey, oh, caught him bottom. way off the side. Yes, I didn't even think that was a hit like that, but... Oh, nice, wall 74. Kind of risky, especially because that's a pretty easy punish for Paul. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Hey, 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 calm down there. That's yeah. one way to get too many. You ain't Chet Chetty, baby. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Rank, you're holding on here. So far, so good. Nice, Bad. out of here. Oh. Got the flip over though. Didn't get the ground hit, but still doesn't matter. Still got a mix up. Gonna get this wall spike. Gonna get this wall. Gonna get this combo. Oh, he got so unlucky though. Yo, right, you got so unlucky because that ended up turning into a side wall splat randomly. Take the wrong stage, bro. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, come on. Oh, oh God. Oh. No. That party crash. Bro, if he had hit the break right there, just down for two, whip party crash, that would've been sick. <laughs> I feel like that's the first time I've ever seen a blue get this hit and then lose. <laughs> it's like, I feel like that, that's not how that's supposed to work. Like, it's programmed in the game. As soon as you hit blue get this, you win no matter what. Mm -hmm. oh, oh boy. wasn't close enough to get that finish there. Yeah. In and out right now. Ooh. Oh boy, big counter hit. Yeah. Yeah. Wall should be easy. Yeah. Oh, oh God, boy. Didn't get close Wasn't enough, but didn't matter. Alright, set point for Take now. Yeah. Try to punish that. Nice block. Getting close here from both players. Another good block. Wow, oh, screw yeah. your blocks. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that he does Hopkins. Yeah, it's not a part of it. It wasn't enough, you know, in his game plan with Kazumi, but... Woo! Got what? Much, but tops the combo too, unfortunate. Oh boy. Swift points, double wow. shredders. Dead. No, oh, wall splat. Ooh. Ranchu surviving. Yeah, I thought it was going to be another wall splat, but didn't matter. Yeah, Ranchu staying alive here 1 1. It's pretty oh, funny, man. The pulse looking good. I don't, I don't I mind like it, but the a lot. The Julia is also looking good too. I'm. This is like one of those things where yeah. I was excited to commentate the Asia region mainly for stuff like this. Like, who? What character is this guy playing now? You know, like I wanted to see all the all the choices here. Right now, Take's Paul, the Julia's rank, uh, rank choose Julia is looking real strong. It's kind of like a preview of what the world is going to be like eventually. You know, mm -hmm. we get to see all these top players come together we haven't seen in a long time playing against each other, and you get to see them with an updated version of the game. Uh, which you also haven't really seen in their hands. So, like earlier, we saw Anakin versus Joey Fury, which is a matchup we've seen, but not with the characters they ran, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, that was very fun to watch. And now we're seeing similar stuff happening here today, right? Kari with Ganryu versus Chanel's Eliza earlier. Uh, now with Take and Rangju, we've got Julia and Paul Phoenix. Like, yeah, this is sick. Nice tied up 1 1 here. Winner of this match goes on in the winner's side. The loser, unfortunately, goes to the loser's bracket, or the lower bracket, depending on how you want to call it. Yeah, how esports you are. I call it what it is. Learners. 
That's what that's what the Ipes probably gonna call it tomorrow. That'll be sweet. Oh yeah, don't forget guys, today is Tekken, but tomorrow is Street Fighter 5. So same channel, make sure you guys click that follow button. Yeah, and let me give you one preview of the eight one, the first round Asia match in, in Street Fighter 5. Uh, infiltration versus the beast. It's a good first round. Also match. known as Daigo. <laughs> Maybe, I don't, maybe the, unless someone else has named the Beast over there and I don't know who it is. KO. Oh my god. Oh man, the Round pressure from two. Take, try to get it, but Rangchu was like, no more, get off, get off of me. It's kind of crazy, like when you try to pressure Rangchu, he usually has an answer that's like, uh, you ain't trying to hit anything on me, because I'm going to hit you first with this thing. Yeah. And stay away from me, I'm crazy, he has one of those. Take's wall pressure has been so good today, too. What a block. Wow. Who goes for that big punish, too? Kind of risky, but he's off. Again, bow and arrow hit. Raise try. He got his. Oh! I don't well, know what he did, but it wasn't good. I mean, I can't believe Rank even did that. Yeah. Got him, second to counter hit. Wow. Oh. Rank you special, bro. Yeah, the party crashers. Wow, just willing to throw it out, going for the end. Magic now, four. he's gonna hit the wall too. Oh, too close oh though to get the, the best wall carry. Talk with, with the, the ring. Chance. You Both know he's coming. Ring. The blue stuff, bad axes, no. Blue no! stuff blocking this part from Rangchu! Rangchu over Taki 2 to 1. Julia Chank! Look at that! Mm -hmm. You guys see that nice. one coming, chat? I, I mean, we I, I knew he played a Julia. I didn't know what so was going to for Taki. So the the, the mm -hmm. Paul was such a surprise, but the Paul showed up, man. Just unfortunate yep. that the just couldn't close it out anywhere in those games, right? Where Rangchu was just had the lead and made the right reads there, got the right blocks, got the right, and you know took big risks, but it paid off in that situation. So, you know, Brian man. is so good now. Why hasn't Taki gone back to Brian? I don't think it's in his in a DNA anymore, man. I think honestly, no, yeah, I, I agree, but like. The character's good now. Like, most people will agree that this is like one of the best versions of Brian, right? I th I think his Paul is better than his Brian. <laughs> what? What? You're really hiding hey, up Chad. his Brian. You're really up hiding up his Brian. Was, dude, his Brian made top eight like so many times. So uh, many times. Like, you know, like How, global finals. What year? 2015? 15, 16, 17. You know, so, I feel like... Oh, come on. That was so long ago. By that, by 16, I had to play Kazumi, dude. No. <laughs> hey, Chad, is that true? Also. Bro, no, I'm telling you right now, no one even knows he even played Brian. Chad, do you guys think that Take's Paul is better than his Brian? Have you guys ever even seen his Brian is a better question. <laughs> Top change at... is the topic, Ricky. <laughs> This John Dean again, we got Julia Fokkeron. Holy moly. I only seen him play Kazumi. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> no one even knows he had a Brian, man. I'm just being honest. He, at this point, even he well, forgot he had a Brian. Fight. All right, well, we get some more Julia here. Julia from John Ding, again with the box drop. Magic yeah. fours all day. Good tool against box drop. Again, yeah, definitely loving the new characters, right? His Fox Mom has been one of his uh, go-tos, but, you know, we all know, know he had a strong Shaheen. Uh, definitely one of those guys that played, like, a lot of different characters in order to get wins. John Ding, you know, drop it to Eddie, it seems like, for the Julia. Oh yeah, he's definitely like putting in a lot of work with her. Yeah, I feel like Ju Julia's just the house record. I'm just killing it, killing it. I think uh, TWT 2019, the last chance qualifier, was when Donning really tried to go in with Julia. Like just before that, is when he started putting a lot of time in her. So now it's been, you know, a year and a half plus uh, since then. So he's had a lot of time to refine the character now. Isn't that wild to think about? Like, mm -hmm. John Ding's been playing Julie for that long. Like, if you get, if you thought about it back, you're like, what if you gave John Ding a year and a half of Julie? Where do you think it would be? You know, to, to actually see that now, it's crazy. 
Oh, nice. Tranum aided the get up kick and block and punish. Johnning up two rounds against Zet. Yeah. Good block and punish here. Takamaru, even after all the nerfs, right? He's still such a good character. Oh, yeah, dude. Without a doubt. Oh, drop the combo, though. Did the wrong string. Oh, did the right wow. string that time. <laughs> it, was, it was the wrong string the first time, right? String the second time. I can't believe the amount of damage that did. Oh, oh man, the rush down from Johnson coming through. Nice. He drops that one four, but. Oh, risking it on air all that. Going for that match four, but man, again, chopping at the ankle. Final, Final round. round, game one. Fight. Oh! oh! Start of the round, just do it. I thought you'd hit a button, sir. Yeah. He did, he done did. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, get the trigger so fast. Oh, punished poorly though. Good choice to win there, but look how close this rage drive block should have been a low parry would have won, but that will be it anyway. John didn't get the first game against Gen. Ooh. Gonna be close, man. That was a good one. I think, I think, man, it's weird too, right? Because if you're again, do you want a wall stage? Do you want to switch a character? I don't know, right? I don't even, and it might, not, yeah, even, it might not even care. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's a hard choice. I mean, right now, though, that was a close set. I, it's a hard, yeah. it's a hard decision to make here for, for again. I think it's probably 50 50. You flip a coin, see what comes up, or just hit random, but like adding it. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, but nice showing by John Ding. And, you know, just like I was talking about earlier, it's just so surprising to get that look into the future from the past. You know, like, yeah, where would John Ding be if he stuck with Julia for a year and a half? You know, I think that's so cool. Man, I'm I'm liking the fucking mom from Gen as well. You know, it seems like I feel like he was going to always be like a Shaheen main, right? But he definitely is not scared to switch characters. He was Bob before, right? Yeah. He used a lot of I Bob. He, he used, I mean, in, in, in Tag 2, he's Bob Lake. When he was, uh, when he came to Evo for Tag 2, how, how young was he? 13. Yeah, I remember I played him then, and he beat me so bad, but I couldn't hit him with, like, low. I was like, dude, like, I can't hit, like, law damage, and you be blocked everyone. I'm like, that's impossible. You know, like, how young are you again, sir? <laughs> yeah, he's too young, right? I mean, he's still, yeah. like, he's, he might not, I don't even know if he's in his 20s yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is, but like early 20s, right? Because he is super young still. Nice oh stuff. my god, yeah. he gets testing again on those, man. I'm telling you, he's got those young man reactions. He's a little bit older now, you know? Still super young. You know, it's funny too, right? Again, one time in an interview, he was talking about Ulsan's gameplay, right? Because Ulsan's pretty young too. And he, and he yep. mentioned how he thought Ulsan was winning off of his youth. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you, what? How can you he, see He that? would know, because he would know. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I see him doing the same to these old people that I do, you know? <laughs> the youth is winning yeah. it for us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. In and out right now. Both these guys kind of chilling. John Ding small. Oh, I like that. Big damage Whoa. here. Oh. What? Didn't get a pickup. Nice no. block. And look easy punish. Round three. Man, John did a couple of mistakes there that cost him big time. Yeah, for sure. Oh, got the down hit though. While sending three into this. Oh, missed the party crasher after that. I mean, Julia has some tricky combos for some reason. That's why, like, you know, more often than not, just pretty basic combos get the job done. Oh, yeah. Man, he didn't go for a full crouch mix that time. And then the work. Oh, that's why. Again, mm -hmm. starting to fish out the full crouch. He's down for two minutes instead. Wow, wow, one on one, all hit. No, it's too far! It's too far! Man, get in his spacing. Yeah, his spacing has been great, right? 
And you can see right now, it's starting to swing in Gen's favor. Like, those rounds were kind of close, but overall, it's like, you make one mistake and Gen's there to punish you, right? You throw out yeah. a high in a string, boom, duck while standing three. You whip right in front of me, boom, boom, you're dead, you know? So, a couple times there, John Ding, just these small mistakes that cost him big time. Yeah, you know, the other thing, too, I don't like, honestly, I don't know if they play a lot, right? But you got to remember, mm-hmm. uh, Gen's teammate, you know, in same same group, right, is Renchu. Yep. And ranchu has been playing a lot of Julia, you know, so it's obvious that he's, he knows the matchup very well. I mean, I, I think he would know the matchup even if if Ranchu wasn't on the same team, right? But mm-hmm. it's, he seems fairly comfortable in it, right? With punishing everything yeah. correctly. And so it's just, we'll see what happens here with John Ding. The, I mean, I kind of want to see if he go back to the Eddie, but I highly doubt it. I feel like Eddie is, I mean, he put Eddie, he, he buried Eddie on Twitter. Like, on, <laughs> he made a video of him burying Eddie, kind of. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I think Eddie's very bro. I mean, I, I also think Eddie's pretty good right now. He ain't no Julia. <laughs> no? <laughs> he ain't no Julia. Oh, man. We're going to suit this time around. Man, this is Eric crazy. Is I can't... I'm, I'm, I'm legit can't believe I'm watching these guys play, right? It's It's been so long. It feels like. This is this is something we would see like Evo Top 8 or like, you know, the Tekken yeah. World Tour Final, right? Round right. One. This is first round. <laughs> this first round. <laughs> uh, I thought the event is so cool, man. Shout out to LG for putting this all together, man. Yeah. LG Ultra Gear Fight Night. Hey, hey, man, punish him, dude. Yeah, well, got the wall splat there, too. John Ding just swinging it down, buddy. Oh, boy. Ooh, good throw. No, sir. We needed to break that the wall splat. Ooh, man, these lows are eating him up. Oh! Blue stuff. Pity pity. Delays it. Oh my god! How did he do that so fast? <laughs> Not only did the delay that string, he went for the high too, but Gen opted just to block the high because he was scared of the mid option. Which makes sense. Oh, fat counter hit here though. Gonna get the wall. Yep. Carry high. Big damage. Shout out to Bruce Irvin. He's dead. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just like seeing, I like seeing the knees in the back, too. Really funny. <laughs> oh, got him! Hello. Oh, round three. Oh, boy. Fight. Here we go. The final game between these two. Round count tied. Back one. Bop, bop. Oh, my God. Just throwing it out there. This is going to hit the wall. Hey. Shout out to Bruce. <laughs> oh, it's all dead right now. Blue stuff though. That's a good start. No, oh. sir. Mm. Set point for Gen. Round Finally, four. the bow and arrows get blocked. Fight. It's like reverse conditioning. Like letting him get away with it for so long and then finally blocking and punishing. Yep. Oh man, the pressure from Gen is just overwhelming. It feels like the low start everything, right? I stopped mm-hmm. didn't punish. Freeze it up, man. Fuck him up again. Looking to close it out here. Oh my god. Oh, nice. Good choice out of the 4 4 3. John Nick's still in it. I'm gonna hit. Final, final round. Ken and John Nick. One round. Stay in the winner bracket. Bow and arrow hits this time. Shotgun in there. The mix. The pressure. Oh my god, get out of there. Again, fighting out. Chopping for chopping away. Right, he's getting his pokes back in now. Nice. Oh boy. Wall. Step on it. Hey. Oh. I don't Beautiful. know if that's I don't know if that's guaranteed or not, but that definitely did hella damage. Hella damage. And John Ooh. Ding takes it over again impressive stuff john ding stays on the winner side of things here again yeah. sent on down to the loser side pretty Man. big up oh. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah i wanted to keep talking but i saw the names and i didn't want to talk anymore because we got to talk about <laughs> you know let's just let's just talk about these two unknown players we don't know i've never heard of these guys named jdcr nope. who's ever heard hey, of these guys? chat can you guys give me a chant real quick <laughs> Mm. Ricky, what should they chat? You start mm. on this always. Hmm? 
Hey, mm. Hachi. Yeah. Hey, Hachi. Jay Imagine. sure says, hey, don't say that. I'm sure he does. But just saying, y'all should do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, could oh, be good. Man. It could be <laughs> great right here, dude. JDCR versus Rock's Dragon's Knee. Man, me and JDCR, been, you know, obviously they've been in the Korean Tekken scene for years, right? They, so they have mm -hmm. history. We all know it. But, like, as it is right now, these are two great Tekken players that are about to play some good ass Tekken. And honestly, I have no idea what characters either of them are going to oh, play. Let's oh, let's go! Oh, my God. Oh, it's time! It's time! What characters? What characters do we get? E Fox and Fakura. What the <laughs> hell? Just like we expected. Just like we expected. Oh boy. I told y'all to do the Hayachi chant, look what we got. Fakura. <laughs> I mean, did you I mean I kind of like Need definitely likes the default to the Steve Fox whenever he gets an opportunity to. Don't people say that Steve is like the counter to Fakura? Fight. I have no idea. Steve's a counter to everyone. You like just hit that one whenever they press buttons. Alright, JDCR. What the fuck? And you know, these two have met in the tournament, uh, maybe in, what is it, like uh, a couple months ago? When JCR won that big tournament? And I think JCR won the Fox too. Alright, so that, that might be the key go to tournament character here. Yeah, especially against me. Oh, and you saw that punch right there. It just hit me normally. He's gonna get some big damage here. KO. Hey, hey. Round two. Fight. Nice job there. He took the first round there. Boxing versus kickboxing. Oh. Hey, hey. Wow, in and out for both of these guys. Running fresh. Look at me forward movement, bro. Oh! Yes, oh. it's beast! <laughs> nice, look at all that, all that space he just created from that one combo. Damn, it's a dash up from JDCR as well. Yeah, and like, you know, the thing is, too. He knows that he's looking for the back one. He did knows he's looking for the back one, him, so it's fine, you know? Look at that! He's like, you want a back one? No? Alright. Oh! And he got his counter hit there, JDCR, tying the set up here. Round three. Mm -hmm. Fight. Whew. How do we oh get blessed to, to commentate this yeah. match of all matches? I right? feel like I feel like we lucked out. Hell lucky. Look at it, down four again. Oh, oh, duck for a duck Oh, Yo, Masaji. Oh, 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 that jab got crushed the rush there. Oh, and he gets, gets the pick up. Nice. Oh, nice combo conversion from me, but gets counter hit there. Yo, JDCR. Fuck him up. Whoa, he's dead. Pick it up. Smart choice. Went, Smart choice. Went for the easy combo, but knows that it was going to kill. Nice job. Yep. That's the part he did right there was the part that everyone drops, right? So he knew. He knew not to risk it there. Nice. Oh man, look at them both ducking like crazy. Yeah, I think that's what this game has, has evolved to, right? It's just like they're so scared of each other's eyes. Wow, what a need though a huge lead. JDCR in trouble right now here in game one. Fishing for a big counter hit. He's like, fuck him up, please. Wow, Give me something. Low, no. Man, you see me just ducking there. JDCR's like, I'll hit you low. Oh, got him. Got him. I can't believe that worked. Oh my god! Rain drive out of nowhere! Final, Final round, game one. Where did that come from? Why? I mean, Holy he's all gosh. He must have saw me ducking a lot. He's like, I'm gonna, I gotta take this risk. I mean, it's safe, right? Why not? Yeah, that's true. That was Got unbelievable. So good. But I mean, it's not over yet. Me getting this combo now. It's gonna be to the wall. There oh, yeah. Nice, still gets the full combo. No Another doubt. huge lead. Working on a perfect. JD got a fox from with rage. Jet kick, wow. no. Last pixel. Fakey down to nothing. JD's defense is fakey with the perfect for me to close out game number one. Mm. That was good. <laughs> mm. That was messed up, man. It, like the all the all great. the ducking knee was doing, like right in his face. It's like you want to just hit a mid, right? But then every time it's like, no, you can't hit a mid because he's blocking it. <laughs> It's like everything he all the choices just seem to be working out for both players and then such until that last round where knee finally got him i oh, mean man. the second to last round where you know knee had this huge lead 
And mm-hmm. JD was just like fighting back. He's like, watch this. This full charge is going to wall splat you from downtown. Off the wall. Oh, it's not going to hit the other wall. Dash him, dash him. Boom, rage drive. <laughs> like, that was so tight. Yeah, I mean, And he was the... ducking quite a bit there, right? So yeah. uh, that rage drive worked out. Not surprising. Yo, congratulations to Joey Fury winning the giveaway in the chat. If you guys haven't done so, make sure you guys are using that coupon, or not the coupon code, the keywords, LG Ultra Gear, 27 GP850, Nano IPS, one millisecond, so you guys can have a chance to win as well. You could be um, a winner man. like Joey Fury. Yeah, we are, we have, by the way, guys, we have $310 in cards to away. 300 We've given away well over 100 at this point. Plus, we have an LG monitor giveaway as well. So make sure you guys throw in that keyword. You guys can have a chance when you guys haven't done so already. I know there's a lot of you guys in chat who have one. But man, here we go. Game two, same characters, infinite stage this time. Interesting choice. Interesting choice from JD here taking the wall away from himself with Bakuma. Round one. I don't think he got too many benefits from the wall either, but who he knows? Got Maybe he the wall guards, the garbage that caught that got him in the round, in round four. That's true, but that's the one situation. They still lost. <laughs> it's a lot of Oh my goodness! Oh, stay dunking. One plus two. You stay dunking. I stay hitting mids and launching. <laughs> Yo. Man, dude, knees pressure. Man, look, JD sounds like I'm pushing forward. Yeah, I'm yeah. pushing forward too. Let's I keep pushing forward. forward. Too. Yeah. You want to duck? Yeah, duck here. Duck here. I'll get forward to that. <laughs> That is ridiculous! I've never seen two players dunk and dash forward at each other like, yeah, bring it. I'm not scared. Nah, man, you, yo, oh, counter no. confirm. Not gonna kill here, though. 15 seconds. Oh, what? That's Nothing? Awesome. No punish? They didn't want it. He was looking for low parry, too. Wow, lost out of one. Jenny got blocked, but he oh. got the one the fast one! He's stealing the round back. Fight. Oh, I wish he played first three or first five. <laughs> Jet kick, no! Yeah, man, these splash ducks from Nia have been pretty crazy, man. He's getting clipped by a lot of mids, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, he's not scared. He's still doing it. Yo, still dashing in the face, looking for down one. Down forward, little back one. Hey, hey! Block, block the down four, only gets lost any one two there. You know, picking Steven is, is actually kind of nice. When you block any low, you just do wild stand one two for the most part, right? <laughs> like, you don't think about it. Yeah, you just you don't have to figure it out. You're like, no, wild stand one two. I'm the opposite. I play Ganu, so I just do the 14 frame punisher for everything. <laughs> so I only punish, I only punish the one right one. Everything else is wrong. Man, time winding down here. Yeah, you small lead. Down to one. Almost even things up here. Time winding down. They trade. He's got the lead. Five, and he's got him. Pressure now. Another one, two, maybe. Yeah, again? No, he had the rage drive. That's all he had left. Yeah, both the rage drives. I mean, the, the low one's pretty predictable and it's easy to see, and the mid one just comes out of neutral stance. So not much JD could do there. And he was content with just backdashing and blocking. Oh. Guard break. Didn't opt to, to follow it up. Uh, JD's pressure right now. You know, he's down two rounds here. He needs to win three rounds straight in order to stay alive in this set. What a jab against a jet kick! Scary, dude. Just yep, gets a down jab. Around. Try to go for wall standing one too. Oh my just god! A lot. You saw JD there. Now he changes the game. Just a lot of down four ones, a lot of pokes. Just trying to keep it simple, you know, because you gotta keep he's trying to keep knee from from uh, ducking a lot so that he can open up his lows. That makes sense. It does get scary like that too, because that's when Nii can throw out the back one at any time and get that counter in like in that first round. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. I talked what about always gun. doing the wild thing in one two, but man, he was ready for that high. Yeah. Nice punish though on the beatdown. Mm-hmm. A lot more mids coming out from JD. But Nii is not letting this man back that. Shit is wild. He is in his face all the time. Yo! Time again! This time it's me with the rage! JD dash forward, dash down! Ah, oh, the trade! What?! It didn't launch! On the because trade! It, because or it only traded forward. with the first hit! The second oh, never my came god! Out. Oh, Final man. round! 
reset point for me. JD trying to stay alive on the winner side of the bracket here. Oh. Man, fishing even with that Wild Thanny 4 is so risky against me. Because he can definitely back one of Wild Thanny 4. Yeah, but he's hoping that he's, he's ducking the Wild Thanny 4 at least. Now, playing is super safe here, but he has the slight lead. Yeah, it's a big lead at this point. Oh, I take it all back. Caps are coming out like crazy from JD. Bro, the defense! What in the world? <laughs> 10 what? seconds, dude! <laughs> How much? What? Oh, I don't my God. Oh, 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 oh. That was a counter hit! He's got the lead, and he's gonna have a chance. Beautiful stuff. Knee locks him down with time there, and it's gonna be knee over JDCR two to zero. That JD had a couple of opportunities there, right? Yeah. A couple. He hit That's him very, with that counter hit forward three, right? And that is a launcher if you do the rest of the string, but it is pretty risky to throw out there. And I don't think JD was considering that it was gonna be a counter at all. Man, but that's just the, the gameplay from both players, right? Me just being such a aggressive Steve without pressing buttons. That's the yeah. crazy part, right? He was aggressive, and but yet it was all with his ducking defense, right? It was like he threw out back ones every now and then, but everything else was just push, pushing JDCR into nothing. It was like, what? How do you the even dash up and do nothing? Both of them were like dashing, like you know, seeing Fogabomb just dash and duck and dash and duck at you and not do anything for so long, and then mm -hmm. watching me do the same thing back at him when Steve was like, "What game are they playing?" Like that's not a game that I'm used to commentating. Uh, for, for real, nice right? like, it feels like okay, we can understand these mind games. That mind game was like, oh, uh... <laughs> like the speed of the mind game was so much faster than we could speak. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, for real, it's like that. Because like, like all we were, could, we were just spectators at that point. We were just breathing mm -hmm. into the mics and like, what's gonna happen next? <laughs> yeah, because you're waiting, right? I mean, like, like even like the wild standing four is that J Show was doing, right? Like they were because he thought he was gonna duck. He wanted just like these little poke damage, right? But mm -hmm. even still, it's like they're looking at each other's movements. Like, how many times did you duck? Like per approach versus not duck per approach. You know, they're trying to figure that out. Uh, and we're just sitting there like it's too fast. Like we're we're trying to figure yeah. out what both of y'all are doing. I'm just like I don't know how to read this book, dude. This is a, this is <laughs> above my pay grade, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't go to school for that. Like you yeah, know, nah, yeah. I made it uh -huh. into something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look at what we got next coming go. Oh man, Nobi. A man we haven't wow. seen in a minute. And, you know, okay, so I love the clip of when Patch 420 came out, right? Nobi mm -hmm. went into practice mode. He was reading all the notes, and then someone in this chat told him about Dragonoff. So he's like, okay, mm -hmm. goes to Dragonoff, hits one down two, and sees that it puts the opponent in full crouch, and then he almost started to cry. <laughs> so because of that, it was like, if he's not playing Dragonoff here, I don't want to see it. <laughs> Like, don't cry, don't cry if you're not gonna play Dragon. Here comes this Steve Fox. Yeah, I, mean, I, <laughs> I try to figure too, honestly. Steve oh is so my good. god! Steve is so good. I didn't so expect good. me to be right. <laughs> he just said, but he, oh, he cried and he said, that's how it should be. Okay, I'm gonna play Steve again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Chanel back Ooh. on the Eliza. Well, let's see what happens here. Steve Fox, a uh, popular character out here tonight. That's yeah, sure. plenty of them. Do we have a Steve Fox from North America? In, our, in, in ours, no. There was only Dougie from Paris. You know, Nobi's definitely oh, one of the more aggressive Steve players I've ever seen, too. He loves, he kind of stays in your face and utilizes a lot of the strength. Just, Wants to keep that pressure on, but uh, get someone like Chanel who's willing to throw swing back, right? It might be a little bit harder to get away with that. Fight. And also, it's been a long time since I've seen Nobi play, so I have no idea if his how his yeah. gameplay even changed. Well, so far, you know, like Good. Fox. Yeah. Almost got the wall. That was easy. Wow, got the shoulder. The blockable shoulder connects. Always oh, a blockable when it hits. No, it's still blockable. I just chose to get hit by it. <laughs> Bro, I, I try to step it like it's still unblockable. It bothers me every time, too. I'm always thinking, like, just block it. <laughs> it's just such a funny name. 
shoot, shoot. Oh, he gets hit by the block from the shoulder, you know? <laughs> Full meter personnel here. A little bit behind the life, but plenty of time still. I love the down one. I feel like people are done down one enough. Wow! That was kind of unnecessary. Round three. For the punish or for the, the no, Chanel the, doing the, the EXDP? Yeah. Yeah. Hard read there, but you know, that's kind of Chanel's style, right? I feel like he's willing to make hard reads there if he, if he thinks he can win with the round. Even if it's going to cost him a round like that. Ooh, yes! Balcony breaks, good here for Chanel. Unblock? What wow. the heck? That was sick! Just raw block. Nobody's like, nah, get, out of me. get off me. Alright, Nobi. Got him right where you want him. Ooh, I like that a lot, but Chanel doesn't bite. Round four. Fice. Chanel with the lead here. Gets the counter and launch. Five kicks here. Ooh, the X doesn't hit though. Wow, still gets counted. This could be the round. Sidewalk by Nobi. Saves lives. Low parry from Nobi. He had to make a perfect comeback. With no rage now, too, it's a real comeback. Oh, and he finished the wall standing one two, which is punishable. Chanel blocked and punished correctly. That's one game up for uh, Chanel there. Yeah, I mean. Honestly, I feel like the Trungi strat is best when you're Steve and you're that far behind, like literally a, a full life far behind, and you have their back to Wallies, just throw out an up forward three or a forward four. See which one, you know what I mean? Like that is so much harder to react to, I feel like, uh, than anything else. I mean, down back three, rocket launcher is kind of like the obvious you expected. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't see if Chanel had meter there, though, because then EXDP is a little scarier, right? Yeah, for like sure. Like jumping mixed up. Yeah. Man. He's gonna he's gonna pick Steve again, isn't he? <laughs> he's gonna pick Steve again, isn't he? I mean, if I was him and he's going against Eliza, I think yeah, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I feel like the Dragon Off match might be even harder. Well, I'm just thinking if you're going for down twos against Eliza, that just sounds like uh, you're setting yourself up to get a jump back. Excited! Wow! Mm. Dragon Off, huh? His down two is back. Where's Lars? <laughs> yeah, the last time I saw Noe play, the last time I saw Noe play, play Lars was in Tekken Tag 2 when his team was Lars Dragon off. Round <laughs> one. So it's been a while. Lars is strong though. Let's not forget, he's still good. Lars but... is hella good now. I, I've never seen Noe play Lars in tournament. Neither have I. The, the rush down here from the. This is weird. No one can right. block. Look how many capes though. Why are look at so much material flying around? Oh my god. Blue stuff. Next time. Nice kick through against the wall. Oh, what? what a dive. That was amazing. That is the dive kick over the low. That is a Chanel special for sure. He utilizes that dive kick for the crush properties like that so well. As, I mean, once he knows that he can get the low hit into the, the jab the confirmation, it's a wrap. Dude, that move is just so impressive. Beautiful. Lock the down back four, get the full launcher. Wall carry here is perfect. Ooh, good block into the punish. Oh, man, that's a... Strong punish there from Chanel. Nobi, you can have to make this comeback. But that's a good start. Mm -hmm. That oh, was no, kind of whack. Not. That was <laughs> super whack. Oh. That looked oh. even whacker. Uh -oh. Oh, Things all fall apart. Fight. Well, what do you think about the Lars? I think it. I think it's a. Uh, it's a character that he plays. Yeah. Oh my God, it's getting hit though. That's that's the issue. And it also dropped the combo that kind of could have won them around, but it's fine. Yeah, Chanel still won that way. All right, he's gonna break this wall. Oh he tried. He tried. You can't blame what? him for that. He tried. He oh, tried. No. <laughs> he, he did shoulder. She just didn't stick. Chanel got to be careful. Back to the balcony. Oh, there, there it is. Go yeah. attack available. Not with this large combo. Boy. No, yeah, I think he did it too early. 
Oh, no, B. <laughs> <laughs> that was not good though, but he's still in this. Nice. He got the low too. Round four. Right. Not out of this yet. It's okay. It's okay. Believe. Nobody's been no. doing his best MYK impersonation, just showing off to <laughs> Steve and the Lars. Damn, I thought you were saying losing with Steve and Lars. <laughs> nah, it was no way, man. <laughs> MYK knows that he doesn't play, play watching. Yeah. Right? <laughs> You? Yeah. Been a while. Now still one bar. Got him. Dive kick three. Off the wall. Nope. Side wall saving too. that life for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Don't do it. I, I, I refuse to acknowledge it. EX dive kick. <gasps> what? He Jump missed over. his dive kick though. He messed up his dive kick. Nice what a block. block. Not the best punish though, but it doesn't matter. Oh, nice no job me. there. Down to the loser's bracket. Chanel moving on here. Man. Man, it has been crazy. The, the matches are coming fast to come. And it's like, bro, everyone's getting beat up. It's like, it feels weird, right? Like, we're seeing all these good players just get sent to the loser's bracket. Oh, my God. Look at this one, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Chickering versus Rangchu. 2019 uh, versus 2018. Oh, I forgot about that part of it, too. It's always mm -hmm. so good when that part comes up again. Yep, you gotta remember Chikurin was the... You know, honestly, they both kind of had the same kind of, like, like low-key profile when they entered that tournament, too. You know, it was like, Chikurin, mm -hmm. not too many people thought he was gonna win. Like, I don't think very many people thought he had a chance to to win. Rangchu, no one really thought he was gonna win, especially Harada. You heard him say, Panda, really? You know, so... Yeah, yeah. Neither of them were, like, the, the favorites, and yet they both, you know, came out on top. Now look at them. You know, the real problem with that is that Nii is always at these events. So yeah, that's the like, issue. Oh, everyone, Nii's, Nii's gonna Nii's win. win. <laughs> yep. Right? And then he never wins it. So you're like, dang it. Come on, man. Got old Jigurin staying with the geese, the one that got him the victory. Ranked you going to the Julia, though. All right, all right, all right. East hours. Chicken, I'm happy Round to see that. One. Fight. <laughs> All right, yes, Julia for Ranky. We saw it earlier. Chicken looking real patient right now. Wow, oh, very nice beautiful. Very. Yeah. That down four, I feel like it's uh. It's Something you should block, obviously. Uh, but man, I cannot see it. <laughs> like, I'm too dang old. It's impossible to block. Nice sidewall combo. Puts her in the corner, too. So, great positioning here for Ranchu. Or for Chicken and Sorry. Oh, but now for Ranchu. Just took one side step, and now he has the, the wall advantage. That was crazy. And that wall damage is actually Fight. what got him to kill that. I don't think that was good without the wall. Oh, the trade, though, unfortunate. Yeah, if there's someone that you know, ready to play more in Japan, I feel like it's probably Chicken or something. I'm sure they both played each other in rank, right? Like, Chicken is someone that has, like, a million Tekken God Omega. It's like me in that regard. He has a ton of them, so... I'm sure Ranchu does has as well. Yo, Ranchu Julia is sick now. Yeah. From in the two. Nice no, dunk, sir. Dunk. Ooh, and he does get the wall splat and he aligns. He's gonna break this wall. No, just off axis. Look how off axis that bone arrow was and still worked out. Yeah. Round three. Ranked you now two rounds up here. Yeah, and you know that crash at the end there, party crasher, party crasher is like, what are you gonna do? Like, are you really gonna count that fast, bro? I'm just gonna throw it out. Magic into nothing though, didn't believe. You gotta be and look, he's trying to bait out a counter. Mm -hmm. But Chikrin's not biting. You can go see. Well, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Chikrin's not necessarily a hard counter type of player, right? He seems to play more patient and just wins his time out. Got this big counter hit here. Not though, drops it though, unfortunately. Corner pressure here now. What? Wow, still got the wall break. Okay, rank with the rage. Oh god, Nick. Oh my god, that's not enough! Ooh, they didn't have the party crash, right? 
The double party, man. Rain you double partying it up out of here. He's feeling good. Bro, he Loving loves those. Wolves. He loves that party crasher, right? And it's it, very, very, you know, he doesn't really use the four very often, right? It's very rare. And the one time he does, it gets launched. So it's like, he's mm -hmm. just, all right, well, whatever. Just keep doing it then. Why not? You yep. know? Party all day, man. Uh, nice and done. That, was that three rounds straight? I think yeah. it was. I mean, that's that impressive. felt like that felt like Chikunin's round to win. It felt like he was in control, and then Ranchi was like, "No, nah, no, nah, I got this." Party crasher, party crasher. Man, that's so cool. I'm just thinking, like, I feel like the last time they met, Chikunin beat him. Uh, I don't remember what event it was, but I do remember them playing each other. And I mm -hmm. want to say Chikunin beat him with Leroy. Sounds familiar. I mean, that was. I mean, when Leroy first came out, right? Everyone was playing Leroy. Yeah. Sticking Whoa. with the geese and going to an infinite yeah. stage. Oh, the geese are cheap here, man. <laughs> you don't need no wall. So yeah, I'm taking no a wall away from you. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, though. You know, I thought Chicken and Mike go to some other characters, but fight. he's going to rock with the geese. That's the character that got him the most success in the Tekken World Tour, so why not? I'm still salty about it, bro. The fact that. They, like his weakness before was infinite stage because you didn't have the combo damage and they're like oh wait let's give him a new screw attack that gives him more damage on infinite stage great fantastic <laughs> <laughs> well, he, but he doesn't have a wall now <laughs> think, of, think of the positives <laughs> I mean Renchu just not scared about wall no wall right party crashers they do all this work right now constant party crasher <laughs> Wow. Uh, every time, wow, just the patience for Ranked you, dude. Every time she, he saw Chico didn't jump, he's like, I'll just hold back. It's all good. Yeah, that was a panic right there, man. <laughs> and the low parry, and Ranked you's Julia is looking real strong right now. No, nice. sir, man. How does Chicken do that? Like, every time he didn't do it, he didn't duck before it, you know what I mean? It wasn't like funny mm -hmm. that noise. I mean, he took the risk, but he, the unfortunate thing, he's not getting a launch or anything out of it. Oh, that's oh, going to be big boy. damage, though. He does the good have thing they buffed his infinite stage damage. Yep, and he should be dead. No two, way. Three, is he four, dead with no wall? That was seven, health. Eight, nine. Ooh. That is some Round stuff. Three. <laughs> Man. Who's <laughs> stuff? Blue stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Blue stuff. <laughs> I'm saying blue stuff. Blue stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's. I mean, you have to press ten buttons though. You know, you gotta remember the string of commands. <laughs> Sometimes you might forget. I don't know. Nice. Now. Starting to feel himself getting the little lead. Hey, big wild stand two. What was that one? One. I mean, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Can't believe he even got it. Oh. KO. The back to Speaking of good. good. Yeah. Four. You ran to though. Chicken did use a meter for that, so. Uh, small victory. Not really. Man, he Chikorin finally did a counter. And had ranked didn't punish really. Yeah. Probably shocked that he even came out. Yeah, you're like, what the heck? Okay. Again? Again, yeah. Wow, oh, you him on the jump, though. Nice. Ties it up now. Ranch you one round away from setting Chico into the loser's bracket. That's wild. It's too early to say that. Woo! <laughs> Chico didn't think so, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Too early. Chico's first match in this tournament, you know? <laughs> so what do you mean, set to loser bracket? First, first match! Mm -hmm. Beautiful stuff. I fell for it. Nice, dude. That was off the side step down, too. Oh, he had meter, too. I think he wanted to spend the meter, but it doesn't matter. He has no kill. That is that for game number two. Chicken and ties it up one one. Mm -hmm. It's gonna mm -hmm. be a close one. It always is, isn't it? <laughs> when mm -hmm. these two meet, especially. Uh, but I feel like Rangju has a lot 
of information. He's got a lot of data downloaded on Chikrin right now. It's just a matter of executing it all. Uh, Chikrin, though, you know, the adaptations have been so interesting. Uh, so I'm real curious to see how this next game goes because I feel like Chikrin, those counters were so odd and out of place, but he still won despite none of them working. Yeah, uh, so I have a feeling they're going to start working now. Could be, right? Or maybe he just has, you know, like he might just feel like, you know, I don't need the counters anymore because, you know, the jump ins worked it worked out in his mm -hmm. favor too. And sometimes, so whew, I don't know, man. This is, cool. this is a close one. I think the only thing that's going to change here is the stage, most likely. And I think that will benefit, honestly, both characters as long as whoever gets the offense started first. Let's see where we're going. Mishima Dojo. Okay. I'm scared for my life, but I'm mad. I guess, <laughs> I guess. I guess that's the, the that's the meta out there, right? Whereas you're Julia, you want to take her off the off the stage. Round one. I mean, you, that's what he wanted, right? To so take away what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Just like a little bit of mental warfare. Mm -hmm. Have you turned around? <laughs> Counter. There you go. But finally, a big punch on the guy. I'm more impressed with that, because that was not what he was doing before. Yeah. Wow, did Wilson afford this? That's not a punish. But still hit. I guess maybe he was worried about the uh, bow and arrow after that on block. <laughs> Man, look at the life bars again. So close. Rage mode for Chikorin. And just about a bar. He hits him with back to Oh my gosh, that should have been it. He had the bar. Yeah, it and made the sound it. too. It made the sound. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, double ragey. Yeah. Blue stuff denied. No ducks. No ducks. Yo, oh, he did it to count him. Not dead. Down board one one. Chicken holds on round and gets the two. round. What an ending to round one, game three. Oh. Round two. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, all right, these. these Oh, we got, all right, I'm about to talk trash about them, and they finally work. The first one, I'm like six. Persistence, bro. He needed it finally, and it paid off there. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has the lead. Why not, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a big step. This is going to hurt. I bet you my head, honestly. Why? Yeah, I'm yeah, upset. What are you talking about? He's got plenty of health. <laughs> <laughs> when when Geese throws you down, he says die. I think he's like, yeah, he's, he's intentional with it. Well, set point for Chikorin. <laughs> Damn, man, she looks so good early on, but Chikorin making this fat comeback. Definitely nowhere near over yet. Nice low parry, though. Chikorin's on point with these low parries as well. The jump. Nice punish. Oh, I like that too. Wardrobe attempt. Yeah, just wasn't uh, just wasn't at that range where it was gonna get a natural combo. And this is bad news for Ranchu. Okay, believe in Julia. He's got bad damage too, but not mm. like that. <laughs> you down for max mode. Beautiful stuff. Chickering over Ranchu that time. Two to one. Not bad showing yeah. from Ranchu though with the Julia, but still in mean, as well. Down loser bracket. Yep, I mean, Chikorin made that comeback, but it was a tough one. But, you know, it was definitely hard, hard work. He earned it. Oh, man, that's... <laughs> it's like, I don't even know what to say now because the brackets are going to look so funky when we get back, you know. But we're going to take a quick break. Uh, don't go anywhere. It's going to be a short break. We're going to come back with more of the Asia region. So, you know, stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everyone, to LG Open Here Fight Night. I'm ripping here with Rixta. This has been a long day, but we are battling through Asia right now. Coming up next, you've got this match. This is what we got next? Really? No, I don't think so. But let me give you an update from the bracket, guys. JDCR <laughs> out of the tournament. JDCR eliminated by Kare. Also, Take eliminated from the tournament by Gen. Out of here. Just like that. Here's the updated bracket so you guys can see it. You gotta snap said, your Ricky. fingers like that to, to get him out of it. Got it. That's the only way to do it. But you see our winner side coming up. We got Chanel versus John Ding and Chikorin versus Nii. But JDCR and Todd to get out of here already. That sets the loser side. Nobi versus Kare and Rangchu versus Gen. Rangchu, we just saw lose to Chikorin, of course. 
So crazy stuff still to come here as we, you know, hustle through this Tekken 7 East Asia bracket. Uh, but man, it's been a fun one. And if you guys haven't already done so, make sure you guys use those keywords in the chat. LG Ultra Gear, 27 GP 850, Nano IPS 1 millisecond, so you guys can have a chance to win either a $10 speed gift card or an LG monitor. Uh, it's been a crazy day. We've had 300 of these gift cards to give away. We've given away a ton of them already, and we still have more. I mean, the, I, the thing is that everyone seems like they're winning. Everyone seems like they're winning them, right, in the chat. But, you know, there are a couple of notable names that I've seen for a long time here that I still haven't won because they're still typing it, you know? Uh, uh, you so know they they need luck. to figure out a, a, a more, you know, just like a more creative way to, to say those words, right? You know, that don't always have to say it in that regard, right? Just be fancy with it. Put some, put some, uh, <laughs> put some emotes around it or something. <laughs> that might work, That's man. what I did. <laughs> Yeah, but, oh man. Well, I think your next match is gonna be Chanel versus John Ding. Obviously Chikurin versus Ni. Nee. Chikurin the last Japanese player in the winner side bracket. Uh <laughs> man, it's gonna be a tough one here for a lot of these players. But Chanel John Ding, I think that's gonna be what, yeah. Eliza. I don't know. Probably. But you know, look, if you guys are new players in Tekken, you guys entry tournaments, and you go 0-2, just it'll be like, you know, look, I'm like JDCR and talking, you know, like <laughs> Take some solace in that fact, you know? It happens to everybody. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to get our game number one here started. This is still winners. Uh, first to two, it's not first to three yet. First three will only be grand finals, and Chanel actually going with the Zafina this time around. Mm -hmm. Not doing the Eliza thing. John Ding sticking with the Julia. I guess John Ding is a Julia main, even though that avatar says otherwise. I, I, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> What he wants to have, what he can't ah. have. <laughs> or what he knows he shouldn't do. Yeah, maybe that's a little better. I know I shouldn't do this. But here we go. Julia back at it again. Who's uh who's Julia do you like better? Dundings or Rank Juice? Fight. Oh, right now, I've seen Rank Juice more. Oh, I definitely like it more than because it didn't get counted by the Safina 1 plus 2 yet. I think personally like Style-wise, I like John Ding, but Rank I like his uh, his abuse of Party Crash. Party Crash. That was I think that's, yeah. I think that's what I like. And I like the yeah, way he like phrased it. More... Abuse. Yeah, exactly. It's like he he's got like the actual Julia player stuff in there, you know. Yeah. John Ding is like a Tech Seven Julia player. Oh wow, he got it though. Party Crash are high. Oh. Man, the trade. Nothing happening. Chanel staying on the ground, just letting John Ding kill him. Round two. Interesting choice. Fight. Very interesting. And try to get up here. I guess he wasn't panicked, right? But John Ding was like, alright, you not panic? I'll hit you with 4 4 3. That hits grounded. Yeah, I wonder what he thought that John Ding was going to kill wasn't going to take ground. You know? Party, Party crash, Crasher. Yeah. That's all I can think about. That, that's, not, that's not the John Ding style, too. That's the Rangshu style, too. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Nice punish. At the wall pressure here, John Ding. Second, it's so delayed. Wow, hey, hey. Ch Chanel just throwing this out. Kind of a different style of Zafina, you know, we see from compared to what we just saw with Shadow, right? Mm -hmm. Chanel a little bit more aggressive Zafina style. A little bit more risky, oh, it seems like, too. The mm. rage drive from John Ding up well, two rounds here. You know what I realized that, you know, so, so Rank Chu is Julia, it's like classic Julia. John yeah. Ding Julia, it's not a Tekken 7 Julia, it's an Eddie Julia. That's what it is, you know, he's always trying to do like a shotgun spin to something. He's like, like, oh yeah, it's like going to relax or something. Oh my gosh, he could have broke the balcony there. Yeah, a little, a little awkward there. Yeah, we called him an Eddie Julia. Because he wants that... to use the stances, you know, quote unquote stances. Keep your guesses Alright, the patience there from John Ding. Nice. Mm. Finally ducks it. Chanel gonna take round number three here. Round four. Fight. I mean, he probably, he probably picks this Julia color combination because it reminds him of Eddie, right? It's like got these greens and stuff everywhere. Eddie. Just the green? <laughs> yeah. 
That's the just green color. That's you gotta give something, you know? <laughs> How many other characters have green in their outfit, you know? Yeah, I guess. But I mean, Eddie's, outfit, Eddie's default outfit is brown. It's that ugly one with the dress shirt. <laughs> Alright, now Donnie looking okay, but you know what life needs in round four here. Yo, the party patch is coming out okay. Man, party patch sounds good against Athena. I don't know, I don't, I, I'm sure it's just annoying you can't get into like stances like that so easily with that move. Constantly and you can't out, even back at as well. Forward, forward, forward advancing attack, round. you know? Yeah. Fight. But John Ding, though, not, not finishing that round out, so Chanel ties it up here. Oh, set, man. <laughs> Man, the pressure from Chanel now coming out. Gucci. Backing up, just tapping him and walking away. Nice! Wow, big whip and didn't a perfect even punish. Yeah. Nice wall carry, too. Oh, Got beautiful. max damage and, and the bone arrow. No! I know. What Such a punish. Such a big risk. Kills with it too. Yeah, it was a huge risk, but he's an Eddie player apparently. <laughs> maybe that's a maybe that's a Eddie thing. I don't yeah, think so I actually. Mean, <laughs> no, that was very. It was like a big gamble for the win in that situation. But with the for life sure. you had, you didn't have to gamble that big, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, and not only that too. It was like uh, immediately Chanel used his rage drive. Got. Yeah. crazy amounts of damage off of it too so that was a good job from him to notice what he mm -hmm. blocked you know usually you would block a big low like that you go for and that's too smart while standing too yeah that would have yeah. been i mean it would have been good too right but he just wasn't well, like that right, look, i know great job's gonna hit full was that full uh bow and arrow it was right no no he did uh the shotgun four the low oh gosh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you're right um, I mean, the shotgun low i don't yeah. think it's a terrible decision in that regards but it was definitely it, if much it, if riskier wrong, than it needed to be. Yeah. yeah. But if it's wrong, it's very wrong, right? Like, mm -hmm. it's pretty risky. Um, yeah, but it is what it is. There it is. Chanel on the board. John Dingo. Choose a stage. What stage will he choose? If any, goes to Souk. Outfit change for Chanel. Here I come. Yeah. Bringing out the red one this time. Round one. Fight. Game two. Build winner side of the bracket. Uh huh. This to get into the money, by the way, into this huge prize pool we have here today. Since this is the Asia region, we have six thousand dollars for the winner today. Two thousand dollars for second. And third place we still got a monitor. So a huge prize to go overall out here. And winning this set will get you to that top three. Whew. Man, John Dick swung in, in between that string. Got a throw out, but Chanel still blocking it. was on point. Counter. I got a counter, too. All right, the pressure from John Dick, but he backs off right after. 15 seconds now. This is shadow time. Can Chanel make it shadow time? Well, it's done. Jig time right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, now Ray Drive's coming. Oh, no. It's not even good. Oh, nice. my gosh. That was so smart. Yeah. Very good. Round two. And that was Chanel's bad, right? He tapped him into Rage. Like, let me give you something to waste time. Boom. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's a good rage drive too, in a sense that if you need the block damage, right? If they touch the wall, it's, you're gonna get some, a little bit of damage. So if you just need a little bit of damage, it's perfect for what you can do. Hey. Nice Oh. Nice, got the wall splash. Take care of this other wall, big damage. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that. Oh, you see the four back motion? The four back? It's almost like he's faking out on Mad Axis and the armor. Oh! oh. John, hey? <laughs> Been a while. <laughs> yeah. 
forgot about that. I don't even have that hairstyle anymore. <laughs> Wow. Nice one ish. All the hits? Okay. Wow. wow. Staying in his face. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Jumping. That's going to be it. Take yep. it. One to one now. Man, now one game to get into that prize pool. That's pretty that's pretty sick. That's a lot of pressure though. Uh, that was Man, a quick 302. And you know, we this is our third region. If you guys are just tuning in, go look at the archives later because we started off with Europe earlier. We did a whole tournament over there. I won't give you the spoilers. Then we went to North America, had a sick tournament over there. Now we're in Asia, right? And we've given away what is it? Something like 14, yeah, 14,000 plus dollars already in prizing. Another 6,000 right now for first uh, and 2,000 for second. So a lot online here. But this tournament, I think definitely the most stacked, right? Oh, for sure. And with that being said, being in this position, being tied one-to-one, -one, you got to win one game. Uh, man, that is a ton of pressure. Getting a, uh, also a loser bracket uh, match update result. Nobi defeated Kade in the losers, as well as Gan defeating Rangchu. So, uh, team kill there for USG Donuts, but Gan be beating Rangchu, so, uh, so Kade and Rangchu both out of the tournament. Wow. Kari and Rangchu out of here. Rangchu was looking so good with the Julie just a second ago, but man, this is a very difficult bracket. I mean, listen. It's, it's not. It's not surprised to hear anyone's out of the tournament. If you hear JDCR goes 0-2 in one Four. tournament, it's like okay, anyone can lose that tournament. It doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. Man, here we go. Game three, final game. John Ding Chanel. What? No punish from Chanel. Chanel took it to the wall of stage as well. Perfect for uh, for a character like Savina. Minimizes the damage done by Julia, but. I mean, Julia's still a monster regardless. Exactly. Oh, look at that backdash. That's a that's an Eddie backdash. Eddie player backdash <laughs> for sure. Look at him go! Run all day, girl! Gucci! 20 seconds. <laughs> Oh man, why is it always so close with time? Ooh, ooh, nice pickup though. The down 4 2 is such an easy pickup, and that should be it. That didn't up, realize up. that that was a time wasting strategy two. right there. Yeah, Fight. back 1 2 takes yeah. a ton of time and, his, and pretty much his max damage as well in a lot of situations as well. Hmm. The only time you wouldn't use it, especially if you're a Spina player, is this. you don't want to side switch. Right. Well, again, good duck and lock and John Ding here. Beautiful. Nice. Hey. I used to be, I mean, that still is pretty hard, right? It's a pretty mm -hmm. tight frame trap there to, to get that out. But he's a Julia player, man. It's what he do. <laughs> <laughs> nice counter hit, too. Counter hit four. This should be the round here for John Ding. It ties it up. Hey. Round three. Fight. That was a quick one. Wow. Wow, that was such a fast full crowd down 4 4. Ooh! That was a fast whip one there on that down 4 2. <laughs> Man, Chanel really patient here. Both of them kind of realize that, you know, one mistake is going to cost them, you know, the round here, so. Dude, look how fast Chanel back dashes. Yeah, he's like, you want a back dash? I'll show you a back dash. That's uh -oh. point for Chanel Round now. Four. Chanel trying Fight. to get into this top three. John Ding needs these next two rounds. Bam. Oh. Nice. Hey, hey. What a great step into the down 14 one as well. Man. Good nice. What? And the 
pressure from both Oh, yeah? Right. Oh, no yeah. punish yeah. either yeah. one! Yeah, no punish! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and it's gonna cost him big time. Could have That's had some momentum it. off the punish, but nope, you Chanel. Win. Two to one guarantees himself a prize by putting himself into the top three of the tournament. Nicely done, Chanel. John Dink sent on down to that dangerous, dangerous losers bracket, man. Yeah, Scary. Yeah, yeah. And I believe the next match we are going to have is the other side of the winners bracket. You see it right mm -hmm. down there, Chikudin versus Knee. And ooh, man, it's gonna be a close one. I don't think I, I can't. I don't know who, what character these guys <laughs> are gonna play. It's, I'm not. I'm done guessing. I mean, this is wild, right? I mean, if you guys are. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a spoiler. If you guys are watching the NA tournament, the 20Z boys made it to the winner's final, right? And now we have a situation where the Rocks boys may make it to the winner's final. If yeah. me can get past Chikorin. Like we said, you just to, in order to make it to the finals in these tournaments, you need to have the same name as your part or as your opponent, right? In the yeah, spoiler yeah. alert, in the Europe, if you had Black in your name, you did well because it's Sefi Black and Black Azamba. Mm -hmm. And Twenty Z was was the one that won there. So rocks, right? They could they could definitely make it, but Chicken and trying to Chikorin stop. says no. Yeah, you no know. more, no more, no more of that. He's like, look, Chanel's got a C the start of his name. He's got a CH in fact. How come we can't have Chanel and Chikorin? You know? Ch Chanel and Chikorin? <laughs> Chanel well, you, and Chikorin. Well, you got Chileroy over here, man. <laughs> He's trying to Chiwin, bro. You know? I mean, Leroy's a good choice here, right? Yeah. I mean, he's definitely had a strong Leroy too, especially when Le when Leroy first came out. So, fight. See if Chikorin can do it here. Yeah, knee sticking it out with the box. Man, does anyone have that copy pasta from that tweet about Steve being dead? <laughs> People playing a ball in life, whatever. <laughs> yeah, just put some LG Ultra gear at the end of that copy pasta, and no one will know. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Put <laughs> that copy pass in the LG Ultra gear. 27 GPA 50, Nano IPS 1 MS. <laughs> oh, oh, shotgun! Oh no. Could have been much worse. Nice throw check. KO. Down 3 2, one of the best low pokes in the game. Still risky though. Mm hmm. Man, she's been playing so patient here. Yeah, I mean, against Steve, like, you don't really have to rush in, right? And, and Leroy has a lot of good high crushing loads, like that down back four, also down two. Wow, back three just caught him! Man, I like the check with the Diapo 2. Danny 3, he's trying to make sure D's not staying ducking. Wow, wow look at that. extended duck. I mean, look at that. Chicken just played like how JD played against D too. It's like, I think that's just the way Nee makes you play, right? This is the way that you guys are trying to play the Steve match at the trade, but no good for Nee. Chicken and won that trade. Did somebody, you know, go study this, you're gonna learn how to beat Nee. Because. Chikorin did so well against him in the EMT Finals. Uh, and now, who's so well against him again? Well, it's not over yet. Mm -hmm. But look at these move choices. Like, who are you just standing free with Leroy by itself? Oh gosh. Ow. You can try to punish it. Oh, wow. man. 3-0, Chikudin over Nii, game number one. That's a big, big game there, because does that mean Nii, will Nii switch off of, of Steve finally? I don't uh, know. I don't... I mean, because Chikudin might, played that so well. I think Nii might switch away from the Steve here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of what... I would love to see, actually, what Nii thinks is in character to deal with Leroy. Because usually we see him... Pick these characters and match and be like, why did he pick that character? We never know the answer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and like when I think of like who's a good character against Leroy, I don't have an answer for that. So I would love <laughs> to see what Nee decides here uh, as, a, as a possible answer against Leroy. I think Heiachi is actually pretty good against Leroy. 
but I don't know if knees ready to go do all that. You know, that's a lot of work. Hey, knee Hachi. Think- hey, Hachi. Knee could take it back to season one and be a Fang main like he was once was. Remember, the, remember those weird days when he was playing Fang in tournament? <laughs> I think Leroy is pretty decent against Fang. Though. I would do that. Too many low folks orbital. Uh, too many solid mid folks get buried. Ah, uh, but then, you know, if you play the best character in the game, you might as well just play the best character in the game. You know what I mean? Let's oh, play yeah. Devil Jin and call him the knight. Devil Let's not mess around out anymore. Play. This is sick. Chicken with Leroy. Knee with wow. Devil Jin. Fight. Damn, he looks all rocks, dragon customized. <laughs> <laughs> Will this be the right choice here? Yeah. Right, in. Dealing with the pressure a little bit better here. This is so crazy! Chicken has like no fear against me. Like zero. You know, considering that obviously I'm sure these guys played online at some right? Because they're both ranked monsters. I'm sure these guys have had their run-ins on the internet. Like, you also gotta remember, Chikorin's a very strong player too, so it's like, it's not necessarily yeah. Chikorin scared me, it's more like, how we flip it around, how would me scared of Chikorin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh <I> beautiful! <laughs> Doc, that sucked though, he wow, sized up left, you know? Fight. It'd be like that sometimes. He sized the left like Rain Zero, what a block! Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, yo, me, you wanna do a hell sweep? Do another one. Do another one. Oh boy. And you, you can see Chikorin, like, fuzzy in response to the wave dash mix up. Yeah. Throwing out that wave dash there. Getting the hell sweep into the little mini combo. What's in the county on that jab? Woo! <laughs> Blocked it! Block. And that would be a punish. Standing 2 2 for the punish. Round three. Oh boy. Fight. This is crazy, dude. Look at the steps! He went right! Hey, oh, hey, hey! Punish. That's not the punish. Yeah, yeah. Jiggle no scare. Definitely no scare. That's what I'm saying! I mean, he ain't no technical little tour champ. <laughs> oh, oh that, yo, Ricky, that was a low blow, but very nice. <laughs> Set points for Chikorin here. And as we mentioned, these are the matches to get into the prize pool. It's tough to be a technical world tour champ. There's only, what, five of them? Four of them? I don't even know how many, honestly. Two or three. You don't win? No, there's, I think there's three. four. No, you think about it. The king! Oh, and that should be count, that. Huh? Oh no. Oh yeah. With oh, the man. perfect Chikorin 2 to 0 over Rocks Dragon's knee, setting up our winner final, the CH boys, the counterhead boys, <laughs> Chanel and Chikorin. You know? <laughs> Nicely done. Man oh man. Whoa. Pretty good. Chanel and Chikorin. <laughs> Oh man, but guys, we got to take a short break. Don't go anywhere. We still got a couple more matches left for you in this tournament. LG Ultra Year Fight Night for Asia continues after this break. Welcome back, everyone. LG Ultra Gear Fight Night. My name is Rick. So that's Rip over there. This is the Asian region. We are having the craziest tournament, man. And we just saw <laughs> Ni get sent to losers by Chikudin. And so now. I think our next match is going to be the winner's finals between the Chi boys, the Chikudin, and Ch- <laughs> Chanel. Maybe, maybe. We're waiting We're waiting for confirmation on it. Uh, but it should be winner final. Otherwise, it'll be loser semifinals. But yeah, this tournament, if you guys haven't been keeping up, is crazy, right? As you mentioned, Ni nee sent down a loser bracket, where originally Ni nee sent JDCR to the loser bracket, right? That was like a round one matchup. JDCR yeah. out of the tournament early. Take out of the tournament early. It's just so difficult. Extremely stacked matchup here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, so mm-hmm. update. We're actually going to get one match in losers, and it's going to be the knee versus Gen match. Knee Gen. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you said that nice. the first time, and it was funny. You said it this time, and it was just as funny. 
At least yeah, this time I just said immediately. <laughs> you did you needed two tries. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine if you used Negan in the matchup? That would be sick. Uh, I mean, who we'll who see. knows, right? Yeah, me versus I mean, Gen incoming. I think we, and, you know, if 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 it goes by how the character choices went, then I think me will probably pick Steve, right? Because Gen has been rocking the Falcon Rom, trying to get these wins with mm-hmm. that character. And we saw how that went against JDCR. So I'm trying to remember who sent me to the loser bracket, or who sent Gen to the loser bracket. Gen got sent by John Ding. John Ding, yeah, and John Ding's still in the tournament. Uh, we'll see how far he gets as well. I believe he's playing Nobi currently. Yeah, so yeah. A lot of good matches happening around here, but as you can see, Knee versus Gen coming mm-hmm. up for you guys. Man, this I can't believe we're watching these matches right now. It's like <laughs> these what? are so sick, yo. Yeah. No, seriously. Shout outs to LG Ultra Gear mm-hmm. putting on this fight night for everybody for all these regions around the world whether it be Europe, North America, or Asia. Uh, it's been a really fun day. It's been a very long day for us, but it's been yeah. very fun, man. And here we go. You called it Steve versus Bakuma. Yeah, a lot Going of Tekken God Omegas around here. I, don't, I feel like we haven't seen anyone that's not a Tekken God Omega. I feel like everyone made sure they came prepared for this tournament. It's like, oh, man, I can't be seen in public with a Tekken God Prime. Yeah, make sure I'm an Omega for this tournament. <laughs> Round one. All right, all right. Fight. Steve and the Fox Bomb. Let's see if he can do it with this character, man, because, you know, we saw the, the, the JDCR match go his way, but it was pretty close. And Gen had some pretty pretty good matches, right? So in the loser's bracket, he did, you know, he stayed alive in the loser's side, and that's how he's here. He's some very good players along the way. Wow! He just throws it out there, the down 4 2 3. Gonna get it, gonna get the wall combo. Yeah. Now it's blocked though. Wow, Wait, what? 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 The rain drive duck no, under Bakum Rom standing three? Fight. Standing three's not that That's good. crazy. That is, That's yeah. actually crazy. Yeah, he tried to get the punish because it was a big whiff and he did the standing three, but no dice there, man. That's that is yeah, that is standing three. Needs a buff. <laughs> Needs a buff. <laughs> Needs a buff. Make it hit grounded. What are we talking about, like, not listening to people before? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why I say these things. I want yeah, people I know. to know that everyone's opinion sucks. <laughs> Mine included. Wow, that one would use so much damage, dude. All right, he's tying it up against Gen here. Two back ones just hit normally, not even counter hit. No, oh, sir. Wow, no punish! Oh, at 4 2, interesting. Oh, I might have missed like 4 1 plus 2, maybe? Could be. Nice, gets the ball combo, though. Damn, the running three pressure. Oh, nice that one beautiful! Punish. Round 4. And again, now 2, uh, two to 1 over knee. No, sir. But so we'll not if he who cares? Do it again. Yeah. One, two. I don't think you want to do it again if you're going to duck it. He won't duck it. <laughs> well, get up nice. so get the, the launcher here. So it can be a wall combo with the damage. Oh. All right, ties oh. it up now. Final round. Final oh. round game Final one. round. That's always a big uh-oh moment. That's what these, I think this, this invitational is the uh-oh invitation. Like whenever you see a little comeback, it's like uh-oh. <laughs> you know, and you know that every player in there is capable of it. That's so true. Oh boy. One plus two. Oh, no break again. I don't characteristic of him. Man, doing down four is so risky against Steve. No, he don't care. He doesn't care. Taking advantage of his youth. <laughs> oh! He had wow, already went the low. Didn't even have a range. I mean, just does it. Again, gets the first game over knee. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, I assume here knee's going to stick it out, right, with, with Steve Fox. Mm, I mean, yeah. we saw that. I, we saw the devil gym come out last time and look okay, but, you know, chicken and beat it, you know, finish it out. And again, right now, I think if you were to ask, like, well, I don't know if you, if this is like how the consensus is in Japan, but from what I've seen in tournaments, Gen has been doing the best over there in terms of the, like the online tournaments, right? He seems mm-hmm. to be the most consistent. So I feel like he's pretty prepared for this, right? So mm-hmm. 
We'll see if Knee has the right adjustments here, or else Gen's going to be advancing into, on the loser side, and Knee and will be eliminated. This, this match is not even to get into the prize pool. They need another one after this. Yes. Yeah, Which would either be series. Nobi or John Ning. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, we could get Nobi and Knee or Nobi Gen after this. John Ning and I want to This is crazy. This is amazing. Like you said, Steve, he sticks with the Steve pick, but he goes to the Mishima Dojo instead. We'll see. I mean, uh, last stage, too, Soup was pretty small. And again, was able to clutch it out, but it was a very close set, so. Round one. Fight. All right. Man, starting off with the jet kick. Lost by the other time. Oof. Oh, nice stuff there. He didn't really get a punish there either. Again, hitting him with a lot of mids now. Yo, again. Yeah, it's just his, his timing on his attacks, right? He seems to catch Neek walking in and then just getting, clipping him on the low on the way out. Oh, oh yeah. and the down forward too, clipping him in the face. I mean, that's something he got in the first game, too. He's been finding a good reach with these things because I don't know what it is, man, but Gen seems to just have a good timing on these uh, approaches here. Mm -hmm. Definitely some trouble finds the back one. Not a big wall combo. Yo, Ken is so give you guys. A little update from the losers bracket. Nobi defeated John Ding. So now okay. Nobi will be in the top four, playing the winner of this match between me and Gen. So Nobi one match away from making it into that prize pool. Yeah, considering that he got sent to lose his first round too. It's a pretty big yeah. deal for him. Yeah, we still haven't seen the dragon. <laughs> I don't think we will. <laughs> oh, it's man, Steven, but... large. Gen taking this wall carry. Again, one round away from eliminating wow. Knee from this tournament. Wow, this is huge. Knee and Big Cole break the throw, though. Oh my god, the running three pressure. The running three is enough. The running three pressure just basically was a wall carry with no combo. Oh, oh but the back one, the equalizer. Oh, he got equalized right there, though. He's looking for the step. He's trying to get the home attack. Doesn't find it. Knee, though, in big trouble. No rage. Right. Punishes that pretty nicely. Mm. And that will be that. Three rounds straight. Again, eliminate Knee from the tournament. Out of here, boy. I've been doing that forever. We got to do it for Knee, too. Uh, bummer, man. <laughs> yeah. Knee out of here at, I believe, fifth place in this tournament. Yep. Uh, so that I... means Gen moves on to go up against Nobi in the loser semis to make it into the prize pool as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Just wild stuff, man. And then that's Chanel crazy. And Shikuden still waiting in the winner's side. So three Japanese players, one Korean, and the, and the last Korean standing is Chanel. So he's got he's got a whole country on his back. Look, <laughs> it might be the day for the bridesmaids. You know what I'm saying? That's true, right? I did call I did call both of them out, right? Shadow, he you just did. won the NA one. And I did say Chanel was the other one. And you know, right mm -hmm. now he's he's in prime position though, right? He's on the winner's side, but the tough tough part is he has Chikudin on the other side. And Chikudin is no slouch. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it ain't easy, right? It's a, like you wish you could just be in the winner's fight and be like, oh, I can just play anyone, right? Oh yeah, let me play the whack guy. No, no, no. In my head I was game. thinking like well, Knee's not here, so who's going to beat Chanel? And you said chicken, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and speak of the devil, here we go. Winners final each other. First of two games here, Chanel with Zafina going up against Chikrin with Geese Howard. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a close one, a good one. Mishima building here. You know, these are uh, the, the funny thing is like like these last these four players, right? These are, these guys are all like Tekken World Tour staples. You know, like we see them all the time. You know, and it's been yeah. a while since we had Tekken World Tour offline, so it's nice to see these guys still playing and still like oh! being hella good. I can't believe you start up and throw it out and actually been took the bait. I mean, that seems like kind of Chanel style, right? Where, where like, you feel like, oh, it's more players, more, you know, certain players are, like, more conservative with their, how they play in tournaments. Chanel is more like, I want to be more wild. I want to try to really take you by surprise. 
Oh man. Wow, I like that though. Chanel backing off and then back dashing his way out of there. Still keeping Chikun's back to the wall with that wall pressure. Nice whip one is oh. Yeah, take uh oh bro. He's got meter too oh, now. Oh no! Oh my god. Like I that? Said, I said uh oh. Chanel, I know you just uh oh Chanel, Chanel. <laughs> Don't you understand what uh oh means? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> as soon as we saw Chikuno with just a little bit of help and then he pushed Chanel's back to the wall, it was a big uh oh moment. That's just one round here, though. It's still, it's still a first two, even though it's the finals. The winner's finals. There's a lot on the line. And every game really counts here. Going back to a little bit of zoning, but it gets caught. Oh, where are you rolling? Go, what? What? It's a nothing? It's a, it's a setup. <laughs> wow. Perfect setup by Chanel. Works out. Nice. No bind here. Chigurin does have close to two meters here. That's a pretty nice spot to be in, but he's gonna have to get a hit first. Well, I'll get him closer. There's the two bars completed now. Find the back to the wall. Oh boy, does Geese hurt. Even that smaller style combo. Wow, no punish though from Chanel. Did they expect that down forward 1-3? Oh, nice down two. Wow, well, went for it and that's gonna actually hurt like hell. Wait, the side wall saves the life. Two seconds, he got him! Counter hit! Round Counter four. hit down four at the buzzer, basically. How? I mean, Chicken made a big mistake going for that heavy Jake in, but Chanel couldn't finish the round and then he got clipped. Oh, and the, oh my god, the dash up Chicken is like, no. You went back dashing. No way. Ooh. Chanel, though, with the great wall pressure here. Gotta be patient though. He doesn't want to get countered. No wall flat. Alright, Red Pukin's coming out though to play. Oh man, pressure is on right now. Chicken still has that bar available. Oh, he can totally kill now. He's gonna spend the bar oh, though. Oh, and he got the yes, bounce! He does. How's the bounce. sidewalk gonna save a life here? No. no, it's not. No, it's not. Chickwin gets the first game. Sidewalls don't even matter with Geese. Geese like, oh, sidewall? All right, ground throw. This guy got Bad it enough. still. Still a combo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, was, I was hopeful for him in another way. Like, maybe some other way Geese will go past him and a sidewall will make him tech one behind him or something. Who knows? Uh, not that time, though. Chickwin up 1-0 here. Uh, of course, this is top three. So whoever wins this set guarantees himself into the money. Top two finish. First place is going to walk away with $6,000. Second place is going to walk away with $2,000. Uh, third place, of course, we get that LG monitor, which all you guys in the chat are typing for. Uh, so good luck to everyone in the chat. I see you guys. See, we're still picking winners. Nightboss picking winners right now. Ben, ow. See, he wins. Boom. Just nice. like that. Make sure you guys are whispering the channel with your uh, email contact info so that you guys can claim your prize. But here we go. Right back into it. This is the winner final of the Asia region. You know, you know, we've seen the Zafina. Does he go back to the Liza? Does he bring out the Elisa? Nope. Stick with the Zafina and goes into Infinite Azure. Interesting choice. You know, I feel like Chicken is not scared of the, the Infinite stage, but you know, in that last game too, it felt like Chicken in all those rounds that he was like he won. It felt like he was losing a lot of them, except for the last one. The last one seemed more dominant. But those rounds, like like the first round, it felt like he was losing, and then uh, uh oh happened. Then the second uh -oh. one, he, he made a big mistake that Chanel tried to capitalize on, but just couldn't make it happen. So, you know, if I'm, if I'm Chanel, I feel like I had some of those games, you know. It feels like I had some of those rounds. I could have won them, but I like that choice, though, from Chanel. Chanel working out perfect, but as I say that, Chicken lands a hit. But you know, big lead regardless. Oh boy, I'm just gonna stop talking. Every time I say something big, <laughs> Chicken needs to hit off. Oh man. 
Needs to utilize the space though. <laughs> While wow, just crouching, not even moving, but he was already at off axis. He could have punished that if he had dashed in and like he off gone or something. I'm winding down here, Chanel big lead. Oh man, I really can't talk. <laughs> I mean, he still has the lead, don't worry about it. <laughs> Why did you talk, Ricky? It's Why not did you talk? Fault. It's not our oh, fault. It looks not our fault. Bro, if he had hit Rage Art when he woke up. If he had hit Rage Art, he would have had his back and time would have froze and he would have hit him. Yeah, Pretty sure. Maybe, right? Yeah, that's, that was a little scary. Chicken, regardless, kept that first round. Chicken in today looks so strong. Hit his first parry in the match. That was the first time he's even done one today in, in, in this set. And right read there. Yeah, look Big at the damage. damage. Jesus. <laughs> Chicken definitely wakes the ball. Chicken though, starting to run away with it. KO. Oh, man, one Powered round up by Rick. One round away from advancing to the winner's grand finals. The winner's grand finals, you're right though. Yeah. I kind of like that name to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be part of you don't want to be part of the losers grand finals. <laughs> That's nope. the best loser. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh the jump in from All right, he doesn't have a meter here though. Nah, well, yeah, that, build him some, and it does a ton of damage. Nice oh, step. Side. Yep. Ground throw. Yeah. Oh. He's moving on to the grand finals. Man, he said die, but we were all like dead. We all knew. We knew. <laughs> yeah, from the yeah. moment it started, the side we're like, nope. She ain't living. <laughs> she ain't living. Chikorin, though, guaranteed a top two finish here. Guaranteed minimum of $2,000. Congratulations, Chikorin. But we're not done yet. We still got more matches for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Nobi versus Gen incoming. I believe that's the next one. Yep, there it is at the bottom of the screen. Ooh, Nobi versus man. Gen. Uh, Battle of Japan here. Nobi, as you mentioned, fell to lose a bracket very early in this tournament. Uh, and Gen, you know, he has just been beating up people, too. He also fell very early to John Ding. Yeah, so this is a, this was an early loss for both of these guys, but they fought back, and now they're here. They're in the top four now. Winner of this will end up playing Chanel in the losers' finals. So a lot on the, a lot on the line here, especially considering you want to be top three. This is top three placing right here, and so if you win this True. match, you will get at least you know in the money. If you lose this match, thank you for playing. See you next <laughs> time. <laughs> right? Man, feels bad, but uh, it, it is what it is. A lot of pressure in this kind of a position, obviously. Uh, because you know, fourth, it's it's the worst position to get. It's like I was right there. I, I beat all these great players, and I got nothing. But you know, he beat me, so he got something. Uh, so it's it's a terrible place to be. But there's an easy solution: win. <laughs> Just yep. win. There's one more set, and you don't got to worry about any of that. No problem. All right, so we're going to get Nobi versus Gan here. I'm, you know, it's kind of like a, I almost want to say like a generational like gap, obviously, because there's, oh, yeah. there, there's, like totally. a, there's like a 10 year gap between these two players. But, mm -hmm. you know, they both kind of, they've been, I mean, Gan, for, to say Gan's new school is like kind of false because Gan's been around for, you know, a long time playing tech. Yeah, definitely not uh, new school, but definitely is a generational gap from Nobi. Yeah. And Nobi I remember. I played Novi in Japan in 2010, and he was using six. speed back then. Yeah, Tekken Ooh. 6. You know, and that was, I think, think about the age, like, I think Gen must have been like 10 years old at that time. You know? Yeah. Maybe 12, I don't even know, something like that, right? So, definitely generational players. There's generational gap between these two players. Gen definitely playing, you know, like a veteran, right? He's been around this. Area. So, same thing with Novi. You know, Gen also just played against uh, me, Steve Fox, so will nobody give him a different look? I mean, right now he is definitely seeing the rush down on Steve Fox. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember. Did Gen 6 on me, or is it round two. the knee get around? I don't remember. I know the second the first, was real. The first game was closer. I think it was one of the final round. Okay. Well, right now, Nobi immediately getting around. I think you're right. I don't think we've seen the dragon off of Nobi. I think he will. I think he's, he is a Steve Fox main now. I think I think Dragonoff Dragonoff lost all of their players as soon as Aerith stopped playing. <laughs> that was it. He was the power. Yeah. Holding them all together, the glue. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. He's running green pressure now. Line oh, almost wow. even, but oh my god. Just do it. Back one. What's he gonna do? Jab punish you probably because it's so fast. <laughs> wow, the one plus two throw again. Again, not breaking that. It's definitely the, not the first time he's not breaking that throw. Oh man. Nu got the counter. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh no! Beautiful mix up. Smart stuff from Nobi. I mean, yeah, Nobi's, Nobi Steve is such a different pace and technique than, than Nii's, right? Nii's definitely more patient, more calculated, where Nobi's a little bit more wild, willing to throw yep. up these strings because he's going for these counters, he's just going for the pressure. Well, but like, that's this is what the string was designed for. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god, he's dead? Half-life combo <laughs> just like that final round game one. Got him! Wow, dude. Gen has been hitting that down forward to me so effortlessly. Hey, look at the damage! Running two pressure, get off. I'm gonna break a couple more, I'm fine, I can break them. Yeah. Just gotta make sure, right? You gotta test them. And then we make this comeback, though. He does have rage. A little bit of help, but he cannot get both one more time. What a cheap Oh! The Danny Green! Nice! He should have done nice. rage drop into duck. I know, I win. thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. <laughs> but man, it looks like Gen holding on. It doesn't matter what Steve you are. Me, Nobi, get him out of here. But it's not over yet. It's only 1 0. We got a chance for Nobi to switch characters. Uh, but like Ricky said, I don't think we're going to get to see it. I think he's going to be sticking out with Steve here tonight. Uh, yeah. It would be sick to see him with Dragonov, though. Yeah, just one time, right? Just just for gold yeah. time's sakes, you know? But I don't think we're getting old time anymore. We we saw what happened to me when he stuck to Steve. It doesn't work. So just switch the dragon off, right? I mean, that's the logic. Nah, maybe. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Listen, yeah. at this point though, right, when you're down when you're down, you know, especially in a one game uh one like you're down one oh, right? You need to win the mm -hmm. next game. Yep. You have to win it with the, whatever character you're most comfortable with right now. Nobody, you mm -hmm. know. I think he's been playing Steve the entire time. He feels good. And I like the Steve, honestly. I love the his aggressive Steve, but because he's, his aggressiveness is, you know, like he's trying to get the counter hits, he's playing with fire because she's going to get counter hits sometimes too. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Lars comes back. Can Lars be the stopper of Bakumon, though? I think this might actually work. Maybe. I mean, Arctic Snowfall probably helps out Nobi because obviously the damage from Lars is pretty good even without walls, right? You can get wall carry to any wall. Even if there are no walls. Yeah, the problem though is yeah, that Nobi Lars didn't look like it was all there when we saw it early tonight. Yeah, I guess like you he had know. a lot of weird drop combos, hit the rage drop, no follow up, you know, so we'll see how he does here. Oh wow. boy, high step Sides four. I mean, I saw right there, Nobi was kind of obvious or fuzzy ducking that uh, down forward 1 2 string and it was 1 2 1 string. Look good, you know, he seems like his defense against Wakaram is there, but we'll see if the character choice here helps him out. I mean, it looks like Ganon is just using his music here, you know? He's tight. Anything he wants, he's gonna get it. Hey, hey! No, sir. Good jab keep up from Nobu right now. Kendo starting hands are back. Got him. Wow. Ooh, what is he running in his face? Yeah, crazy. Oh, I mean, he's a drag off, but he knows how to do it to running attack. That's true. Fight. Lock punch very there. No beginning a game in on, with the Lars now. I definitely did not expect to have to commentate the Lars matches today. Oh my god, yeah. back turn. Whoa. Weird stuff. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Come on, we'll duck it before that. Gen just throws out the back one. Doesn't get both of the fall, but he would have died, but it doesn't matter. Set point for Gen here to eliminate Nobi and move on to guarantee prize. Oh no! Yep, the counter hit the counter, man. Gen has been so good at getting these counter hits here. 
down for us again. One round away, looking so good here. Oh, oh my God. God. Again. Again. <laughs> again, there it is. again it, it is. is. <laughs> Again, it's Ged, man. That was a great mm -hmm. job, man. You know, he's not scared to throw out that back one whenever he feels like, hey, this might hit, right? Because, you know, it is punishable on block, but he's he's like, it's going to hit. I'm I'm good. I don't know why they haven't chased that yet. <laughs> <laughs> man, then that uh, means we are going to have another matchup in top three between Gan and Chanel. Did they play originally? They did not. Actually, that was the Ooh. Nobi Chanel. So if Nobi Chanel would yeah, have yeah. happened, but there's no run back here. All new matches, Gan nice. versus Chanel. And uh, I believe before we do that, though, we are going to take a quick little break here. But don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to come back with top three. So Let's until go. then, stick around. We'll be right back. Maybe I'll say it again. <laughs> wait, wait. You're just making stuff up there over there, Ricky? Wait, yeah, that's what's going to break? <laughs> I thought we were, but it's okay. I mean, look, we got we got two more matches left, right? It's, it's loser final. We called it out a second ago. It's gonna be Gen versus Chanel. Win of that is gonna get uh, Chikorin in the grand final. So that's what we planned, you guys. After a short break, don't go anywhere. LG Ultra Ultra Gear Fight Night continues after this. Welcome back, everyone. LG Ultra Gear Fight Night. I'm Rip. What? Rickster. It's my bad. Hey, I've just look I'm Rickster, all right? You chill out over there, whoever you think you are. <laughs> you. Rip, you're Rickster. Uh, that's the internet. How's it going? <laughs> it's been um, a long day, everybody. Welcome back bro. to LG Ultra Gear Fight Night. <laughs> Yeah, but I've been mean, here right like, now, like nine hours now, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, but we're in the we are in the final stretch here. We are in top three of the Asia mm -hmm. region with Chanel, Gan, and Chikudin in the grand finals. So we got uh, Chanel and Gan going to be playing in the losers finals. It's also still remember first to two winner of mm -hmm. this will end up playing Chikudin in the grand finals. So yes, sir. A lot of a lot on the line here for Chanel and Gan also, you know, because they both. Uh, Chanel was in the winner's side. Gen lost the first round and made it all the way to top three from losers. So he's been on yep. a hot streak right now. And he's looked pretty so hard to stop. I mean, he's the one that eliminated me. He's the one that just eliminated Nobi, you know. So he's got Chanel next. And then Chikudin still waiting in the grand finals. Ooh, man. What is going to happen here? I have no idea, but I'm excited to find out. Here we go. Top three of the tournament. All these guys into the prize when we're ready. Gen stick with Pac Mom. Chanel sticking it out with the Eliza now. Twilight Tom is going to be the stage. We saw Chikudin. He's the only one that really seemed to be comfortable swapping characters like uh, with Leroy. Right? He swapped to Leroy, but then went back to the Geese. Chanel's been swapping characters too. The Zafina didn't work out against uh, Chikudin, but the Eliza has been doing work for him. So maybe this will be the best choice here. But again, sticking with the Pac Mom the entire day, looking real strong too. Fight. Exactly. Let's see if we can get it done. So one thing I like about Gan's Falcon Rom is the, the, his use of running three as wall carry in order in like just ground here. Like not even a wall combo or launcher. I'm just gonna be running three three times in a row and now you're back something. It's such a good uh hitbox you know? Yeah. Like the hitbox or the hurt box on it. Like oh, look at that. Fix it right there. <laughs> it whipped completely. I'm just gonna stop talking, dude. Like <laughs> everything I say gets immediately disproven. <laughs> Got a good hitbox, all right? Now, leave me. <laughs> nice, good step there from Chanel. Dowsy drops the combo again with Rage. Rage Pokemon. Oh boy. And he managed on a wake up to Chanel was on minus, right? Got hit by that low. Tried to challenge him again. Ready for that Sandy three. All right, but that count is Sandy four. But no, Chanel dropping these dive kick combos. You might want to. Keep it simple because that kick's not coming out. Yeah. It's one of those things where you, you know, like, if I'm low and I'm dropping flat, I gotta, I gotta do it. So I gotta go back to it. Uh, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta find it real soon. Down four, two, though, from Gen. Yeah, that's gotta be the round again. Gen now one round away, taking this first game here fairly quickly, too. Looking real strong. Chanel's gonna have a, almost a full meter to work with, though, but. Is it gonna matter? Nice old carry! Yeah, he thought he got a knife kick. <laughs> Man, he really wasn't too much damage from what he got, though. But oh yeah. boy, that's Ooh. gonna hurt. Oh. 
I slide there. Oh! One for the mid kick whiffed anyways, but doesn't matter. On the board now. Chanel stayed alive. Wow! <laughs> Just dashed right into that. Break the bell to look at the life damage. Woo! Two hits almost yeah. wall carry? That was pretty crazy. I didn't even get that. Nice! That was a beautiful whip one. I think you don't test his youthfulness, man. Don't test mm -hmm. the, the the young man because he's got the reaction still. It looks like end around he favors back one, right? Yeah. Like he's done it quite a few times already to multiple opponents now. And the mm -hmm. thing is, he's so good at it as a whiff punisher that it's not even like you're gonna get a block it and and get to punish it. He's gonna hit you with it. So good stuff again. Uh, you know, three rounds to one that time against Chanel. He's looking really good here. I'm not really sure uh, what character even Chanel should try to go with. The Eliza, I mean, I don't even think it was a character match, but just timing-wise, Gen was finding all the counter hits. Yeah, I mean, ah, you know, some of, the, some of those things, like, you know, he had some drop combos here and there, but mm -hmm. overall, it's just, it just counter for counter, right? He was just getting hit to the, you know, hit first. And the thing about Gen, too, is that his, his, like, the back one, like you said, he's willing to throw it out, not only just as a whip punish, but even a lot of times just as an interrupt. He's like, all right, look, get off me real quick, just back up, right? He uses it almost like Steve's back one. It's like, this is my yeah. launch. I mean, it does, like, almost the same amount of damage, I bet. <laughs> But it's mid, like, it's a lot faster. Yeah, nah, it's not that much faster, but it's, it's a lot of. It's a lot more punishable way. It's a lot more punishable for sure. Exactly, that's the problem, right? Like, yeah. you barely punish it. Um, but it's, you know, but here's the thing you're not punishing it if it's always hitting. Again, I don't think Gen has gotten it blocked once today. He's been using well, it as more. a hit. Mm -hmm. Yep. So His funny. intention is never hard to be blocked. Yeah. <laughs> as most of it should be. Yeah. Which is funny because then sometimes he, you know, but Pokemon has all those strings that you want of the block because you know you charge up yeah. the wall splash. Yep. Hey, block this for me real quick. That doesn't probably fix the back one, but unless you charge it up to the wall, stun too, you know? Guard break, break. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, nice. Block the, block the uh, stomp, but didn't attack afterwards. Nice punish there from Chanel. Gonna put Gen into rage almost. Just needs like one more hit. Yeah, both of them very close to death here. No mirror for Chanel. Oh, he tapped him in a rage. Wow, Ooh. nice though. I'm back though. 2-2 two, two into the DP. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. Oh. Hey, hey. Nice have the DP. Gonna go for the big damage here on the wall. No counting on that. 3 plus 4. Wow, oh, nice step. And that should be that. Yes, sir. Chanel looking fantastic all of a sudden. Yeah, looking real good. Again, not really getting these counter hits either. So Chanel's actually, a lot of his offense has been coming from good blocks like that and the great side steps. Yo, I'm, I'm becoming a Chanel believer right now. Good, right? Oh, the wall splatting. Nice hit confirmed. Oh. Woo! Look at the combo sideways. Doesn't get the last hit. Oh, boy. Not like this. <laughs> no way. Not like this. Actually, no. Just needs one more hit in order to tie everything up. Oh, not like this. Oh, no rage over again. Does he need it? Does he need it? The low berry, the clutch is a low berry into rage arc. And then he makes us watch this. <laughs> he had one he didn't point make of us help. watch that. He made <laughs> Gen watch that. That was for He's like, Gen. Look, I let you have 99% of a comeback just yeah. to like low parry you. Hold that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really what it what 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 it felt like. Like you were ninety eight percent done. Ninety nine. Oh, right there. Like you you could feel it. And you could feel the way Gen was playing. He's like I got this comeback. It's mine. I felt it. Mm -hmm. This low is gonna hit. Nah, get out of here. <laughs> nice job. Chanel's defense held through there. Even though it felt like it was a comeback, it felt like it was just it was supposed to be a comeback, right? Like oh, Chanel yeah. just didn't follow the script. Yeah, <laughs> one to one here. <laughs> <laughs> One more game to see who goes on to the grand finals to go up against Chikorin. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, right now, third place 
is guaranteed if you lose this one, you get a monitor. But if you win, you can fight for either $6,000 for first or $2,000 for second. That's huge, absolutely huge difference uh, to even get up there. So let's see what happens in one game to determine who does it. Ooh, man. Infinite is sure for can opt to go for no wall, which is good because you know the, the EX uh, slashes and everything like that definitely caught him a lot of times in that last game. Oh, yeah. That's where a lot of damage came from. So, and gonna go with this no walls here. Oh, yeah, take the lives off a wall. Great strategy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pressure here from Gan. Tried to go for a punch parry, but too early. Nice Ooh, low yes. parry though for Chanel. Yo, Chanel quadruple dive kick. Man, five dive kicks, one combo, 20% combo damage, beautiful. <laughs> oh, Jab. Was about to hit him once. <laughs> that kick almost did as much damage. Oh, they don't let him Ooh, that time. Yeah. It's gonna do, but look at this! Oh boy! Okay, what you got? I'll go through it. The man Ooh. off the moon glide. Two. Nicely done. Fight. Yo, she. I mean, Gen dropped a couple of options to close that out, right? So, yeah. I wonder if that. I wonder if he's thinking about that right now. I mean, he has. A, he's had hit a lot of down four twos today that didn't convert into combos, but you know, sometimes he throws it out, sometimes he doesn't. I think that's just kind of the way he plays. Right now, he has a small lead here. Oh, God. He hit, and everything hurts. That hurt a little bit. All right, I like that punish. Wow, oh, what a gonna hurt a lot. Dude, nice. I'm blocking the go! In the back! Nice uh, conversion from oh, Gen, noticing that he was in the back, dude. Didn't go for the 4 4 2 one. Just made sure to get the ground to hit that he could. Ties it up now. Yeah, risky business. Yeah, she knows he's low-point a lot. Yeah, he's got the clutch block there, too. The stagger. Reset. Oh, boy. <laughs> Made it so that it looked like a regular combo. <laughs> Unblockable in the neutral. He tried to jab it too, just did it. I think it was a little too late. Chanel fast, man. Look at Chanel go! Yo, Chanel. KO. Nice. Look into it, man, for a run back four. against Chickering. Fight. It's definitely be a good a good start here. Getting to finish again off and looks so strong today, too. Mm -hmm. Oof. Man, Gen's uses of these lows are just so scary, right? He's no, he's, he has no fear of throwing these out. Yo, Gen, though, answering back with oh. the mids at the perfect final, final round, final round loser's Fight. final of the tournament. Here we go. The bow's coming out here. And trying to just chip away, but nice! We have fun with Chanel, gonna get the combo here. He's been sitting on a full meter for a minute now. Ooh. That was not a whip oh one. Boy. Yeah, try. Nice block! No! Nope. No power first option. Oh god! Gen's got rage. Chanel's got one bar. Float out of the air! Nothing much out of it. Rock on him! Nice. The EX dive kick! That will be that Chanel over again. Goes on to the top two. Gets his run back with Chikwin. Nicely played yes. by Gen, but goes home here at third place. LG monitor for your trouble, sir. But that means, of course, our grand finals is the run back. It will be Chikorin versus Chanel, the CH boys, once again. Yep, and I, oh, man. I, we saw, obviously, the it was a, such a strong showing from uh, Chikorin in this entire tournament, right? Beating me, beating Rang Chu, beating Chanel here. So now he mm -hmm. gets to go up against Chanel yet again. Uh, my assumptions might be the run back, but maybe Ch uh, maybe Chanel might try another character, right? The Safina didn't work the last time they ran the set. Chicken had run the, ran the geese. I think he'll, he'll probably run that again, but it's going to be uh, interesting to see what Chanel does here because 
Yeah, it's gonna. It's, it's a. It's a lot he has to do here to to make this uh, tournament victory happen. He has to. He has to win two sets against Chikorin. In a first of three, not first of twos anymore. This is a first of three. That's a that's a tall, tall order. Look, earlier tonight you were talking about the bridesmaids. It's I know. No, and it's always Shadow. And Shadow said, "No longer are we the bridesmaids. We will be the champions, the CH champions." All right. So now it's <laughs> Chanel's turn. The CH boys. It's time to rise. All right. It's time. Shadow didn't win for Chanel. He's like, I don't even care. <laughs> he won for both of them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he's setting the bar, right? He's, he's setting a precedent. That's what he's doing here. Uh, Chanel can get it done. And, you know, obviously, this is one of the hardest opponents to beat, right? Chikorin, yes. we saw him take out Knee earlier. We saw him take out Chanel earlier, right? He's the mm-hmm. only person today to beat Chanel. Uh, but now, Chanel has a chance to adapt. And we've seen when Chanel adapts, he can get it done. What character are we going to see from him, though? Is it Elisa time? That would be so sick. I mean, right? Personally. I think that's I think that's one of the characters we haven't seen from him. And like, you know, for us, you know, when I first learned of Chanel as a player, it was during Tekken 6, it was during Elisa time. It was, he was his Elisa was the the Elisa. He was the Elisa, right? It's there Elisa! is the Elisa. Oh this, boy. This might be the reason this might be the, the best choice for him. Because honestly, I feel like when he does finally decide to bring the Elisa out, he starts winning. It's weird. <laughs> Play this your main and win the tournament. First to three games. Grand Round final. One. Chanel coming from loose side. Needs to win two Fight. sets against Chickering right here on the winner side of this. <laughs> wow! Right over there, Pookin immediately. We're so ready for it. We knew it right off the bat. One plus two is going to go right over that. I mean, and look at that 50% life we already. This is so sick! Oh. Chanel! I mean, Nice Get up there. Jab, dude, man, right off the bat. You know, Chanel, right? On Twitter, he did say, you know, he tweeted at Cuddlecore. He's like, Cuddlecore is the best Elisa in the world. But, you know, it's like, what a guy. Yeah, he's supportive, right? He, he, there's a lot of Elisa mains out there that, you know, support the character. But Chanel, you know, I, I think he's like, I, I gotta play her again. Look at that. makes look so good. Look at this, dude. He is going ham right now. Power nice no! Though. Oh my god, look at the punish! That was a great punish from the chicken. Oh, so got the re-wall splat, yeah. That could have been bad. Yeah. Oh, Yo, power crush. Round three. I mean if you should know, right, you Fight. probably taking some notes from Kyle too. Even if like just like just the way she plays, maybe you decided to steal some of these moves. Oh, again! Don't you dare throw these Rapukas at me! You might need to stop doing that, Chica Dinka. I mean, Chica Dinka, oh, 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 dude, he went for a mid counter too, no dice. Oh, that's a back throw. That's gonna oh hurt. Oh my goodness. Wow, she turned around off the wall. He didn't even get, he didn't even get the hit. Oh, oh man, boy. lost anyone, got it. Just one. The pixel, though. Way. Nice stand. Oh my Down god. No good. Just go straight into Rage Art. I guess this should kill, right? Because he has so little mm-hmm. health. Nice. Oh yeah, it's dead, bro. Round Chikrin. Four. Little Fight. pop off from Geese. You know Geese always popping off after all these damn Rage Art stand up and yep. combos and everything. It says die when you're dead. <laughs> it's like, yep. oh, come on, man. Leave him alone. Oof. The jumping air to air! Chanel forgot what, what character he was playing. No, the yeah. <laughs> thought he was Eliza for a second. He was doing dive kicks and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he definitely jumped back to go, oh god, wrong character. Oh man, alright, alright. Chanel, small lead here. Round four. Poking away. Two. Chanel yeah. can get the first game here with the Elisa. It's gonna be a big, big confidence boost, you know? Dude, the down back threes are adding up. Yeah. Oh man, none of these accounting time running down here. Chicken's in a little bit of trouble in terms of time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh boy. boy! Are you kidding me? Too he saved the meter too! Oh, oh man. my god! He's crazy. Final round, game one. Chicken, Chanel looks so good, but you know, Chicken finally stopped doing those fireballs, but nice side step into the hop kick. Chanel mm-hmm. gonna carry to this wall. Oh, 
Hey. You're playing it slow, playing it safe. What? Jump over oh, the back. back. No. Oh. Very bad for Chikorin right now. Chanel with the Elisa. The back dash is out of range. Oh man, the ducking here. Like Chikorin wants to wants to catch me. Done. Back uh -huh. two. Oh my God. He's just gonna do it with the rage arc. That's not a kill, right? No. <laughs> hell. No, oh, it's gonna do hella. We're all caught up. Oh, Jacob the game! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, off the train! What a crazy comeback! He made two crazy comebacks in that game, dude. Wow. Two. Off the oh train, my god, my too. <laughs> you know, because that train, if, if, Chico, if Chanel just had him a little bit less life, right, that would have been a draw. That would have been yeah. double KO, but no. Chico oh just had god. the five points of damage. Oh, man. The worst part about that entire set, right? Is that the first two rounds were so strong for Chanel, and then Chikrin started adapting to it. So yeah. now it's like, I don't know. I feel like Chikrin's only going to have more and more knowledge about the, you know? Uh, more data has been downloaded, bro. It's it's risky business at this point. I mean, those first two rounds too, like uh, the the a lot of those rounds actually started off with the fireball into getting launched. So you know, I think he stopped throwing out those fireballs. But nice, infinite is your going to the, sticking with the Elise. I think I hope he sticks with the Elise the entire set. We'll see how this one goes, I think. I think if this one's a bad one, then he might switch, but if it's yeah. at least close, I think he sticks with it. Round one. Fight. Alright, just start of game number two here, Chickerton. Also with the lead here, right, in the set, not only the set, but in the in the winner's side of the grand finals too. So Chanel to win this tournament, he has to actually reset it. Went the first hey, set hey. first, get the reset, but nice combo there from Shikudin. Oh man. <laughs> Down back three. These pokes are gonna wow. start ending up and be like, there's so many of them. Yeah. I mean, it's scary too. You can't, you know, especially when you have, when Geese has that forward one plus two, but Shikudin hasn't showed it yet, so. Those are not that Ow. scary. Nice whip yeah, punch. Big whip. There's the forward one plus two. Nice side step from Chanel. Off axis though. Oh my god. Rage more for Chikrin again. Another crazy comeback, baby. Oh. That could have been bad. Oh, oh my god. There's the hockey punish. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, so okay. close to right. Fight. If Chikrin had got that block, that oh, that would have been, you know, an actual cancel. But nice punish. Nice in the side too. That should be a ton of damage here. Oh man, and here we go. It's tied up here. Down four. A lot of low folks coming out for both these players. Neither of them want to give it up. Nice. Oh, he went for the fireball instead, though. Not. Didn't think that it was going to hit Chanel. Come oh boy. Again. <laughs> Down oh, yo, wow. That's cheap. <laughs> yep, you but you know he used the meter for it, right? So he got close, got to do it, but unfortunately wasn't enough then. <laughs> Big damage here. She couldn't look so good. One plus two, trying to get close, trying to maybe go over a fireball, but no, nothing there. One oh boy. Poke for poke right now. Yeah, neither of them are really taking big risks here. She could have just a little bit off. Oh my gosh. High fireball. Just a little bit away from one meter, right? That one meter can win him the round. He's gonna get it if he hits his back three two at any time. Trying to force him. Get plus big whip from Chanel. Great punish. I think that's gonna be keeping his round. Round four. I mean, ooh, it's close. It's getting close. 
Chanel's gonna have to make, do some big work. I mean, it feels like Chanel's winning these rounds, and Chikorin just gets that one right read. Gets the one mistake out of Chanel. And oh boy, oh. speaking of which. And that is a counter hit. These are big, man. Oh, that was a whip. Oh, he no tried! Fire. Try. Oh, that is, it recovers too fast, dude. I mean, for, for at least two. Oh, just out of range. Oh, man. Chanel's making so many good good choices here. It's just not the right. Like, <laughs> right? Oh. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no one likes to see Geese win like that. Oh. Man, but Chikorin up two to zero now. Just needs mm. one more. And now, you know, what do you think? Does he stick it out with Elisa? I think the Lisa's doing fine. I think it's just, you know, like those, some situations, right? That wall signing two, he could have, probably hop kick would have been better in that situation, right? A little bit faster, mm -hmm. but wall signing two, you know, does a lot of damage and it's pretty quick, but yeah. just wasn't good enough, right? And then he tried to do the one plus two, but miscalculated the range on the fireball. He, I mean, so he's making the right reads. He's just not getting hooked up, you know? It's like, he's just yeah. a little bit too slow or a little bit too far. And the other thing too is Chikorin, He's forcing a lot of these whiffs, right? He kind of faints it, he faints going in, and then sees Chanel whiff that standing four, right? Mm -hmm. Boom, gets a standing two, combo's done. So Chikorin's, yeah. you know, he's playing extremely well. And Chanel, I think Chanel's playing really well too. It's just Chikorin is just making making him pay for the smaller mistakes, right? Whereas I think he Chikorin can get away with some of these mistakes. A lot of these characters that are really good right now, like or that people are really annoyed with, say like Pokemon or Geese, they just have these things that are single moves where you're like, that recovers too fast, that does too much damage, you know? It's just it's just so frustrating. So you know, you saw that moment there where you know with funny about that dude, like he should have got that, you know, like he did it pretty fast too, right? Uh, like how much more are you ask than someone, you know, like how can this move be so free to throw out? Uh, you know, just things like that just don't make check and sense in a way. Yeah. But here we go, Cave of Enlightenment, Chikorin up 2-0, to zero. needs one more game to win the tournament here tonight. Uh, and he's been looking fantastic the whole way through, man. If you guys missed his set with me earlier, go back and watch that. Uh, very impressive stuff from Chikorin throughout. And Chanel opting to switch back to the Zafina. And the Zafina didn't, you know, didn't get a game in the winner's finals when they played, but... This might be you know, I think he's, he's feeling like he needs to, to switch it up here. Fina might be the answer, but we'll find out. Let's see what he can do here. Potentially final game of the night. I mean, for Chanel to win this, you know, this is the, the worst spot to be in. Because not only does he have to win this set 3-0, right? He can't lose another game. But yep. that just resets the set, and then he has to win another three games. But Chanel can do it, you know? Like, he, he's capable. It's just a matter of willpower at this point. Uh, and, you know, also making all the right decisions and not getting caught by Chikorin. That's been the big thing, right? Like, he has leads like this, and then he gets hit with one counter hit down four or something else. He just stuns him, and he's like, oh, God, I lost it. Another 65%. Because yeah. when Geese hits you, it hurts. Side that nice. That is a nice counter. Uh, stepping the Rupukins again. He's done a really good job of avoiding the Rupukins overall, but right now you see Chikorin has that bar. He lands up, and it's over. Even though you only have to pick the belt, it's so scary. Wow, <laughs> smart choice. I like that. Yeah, up forward one plus two, low, and yeah. also also is a counter hit launch too, but in that situation, Chanel just did it just to get into tarantula stance, hoping to go for any lows or anything like that, so nice choice. Got staying alive here. Oh, he tried to do uh, his uh, counter again, but no dice. Man, all right, all right. And so many low folks coming out of Chikorin or out of Chanel right now, and it's working. And very interesting, you know, Chanel or Chikorin doesn't I'm mixing both their names up. Chikorin doesn't really use the forward one plus two a lot with these. Yeah, that's what I was saying too. And then like right after I said that he used it immediately. <laughs> Wait, it's definitely not a core, a core part of his game. I think he's just scared of getting jabbed out of it, right? Like he doesn't want to get poked out of it, I'm trying to play more solid, but that solidness leads him to this part, right? Now it's 13 seconds, he has to make this comeback. Yep. Which he has done plenty of times, but mm -hmm. with me or two, look at it. It's hard Two to make this comeback every single time. You can't do it every single time. Right? Oh no. Can you imagine that high block when Chanel forgot about it? Like, what? who does yeah. that? Well, <laughs> Fight. Oh, got him. All right, Small side right that right that time. Yeah. I mean, Chikorin has done that before, right? Because Chanel did a down jab, and that's what she did sidestep for, so making the good reads here. Good block, not to punish though. 
Oh, and he did a mid counter, but it was a little bit too late. <laughs> yeah, in and out, in and out. Okay, Jordan still looking good despite being tiny from behind. Still has a meter. Chanel up two rounds, though. <laughs> Well, even on life now, I'm sure. They're really pushing this down to the final seconds here. Pops go for the meter spin. Yep. Nice Bounder choice again. for Chanel. Challenge back oh. in this rage tribe. All right, that's a good start here. Chanel that's a fantastic taking that game. Start. Three rounds straight that game with the Zafina, right? And yep. the way he did it was very aggressive early in the rounds. You know, a lot of low pokes, get the life lead, and then chill all day. Right, mm -hmm. and that seems to be working out. Like, obviously, Chick was making these comebacks, like, he's chipping away down fours, down fours, but it's not enough, right? So, then he's got to make something big happen at the end. And I think yep, Chanel yep, is yep. starting to understand how those situations go. So, very smart stuff. Uh, well played by Chanel so far. I think we may have a long road ahead of us. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna the, the Chickren just needs one game, right? Chanel needs Chanel has the long road. But mm -hmm. this is the beginning of it, right? The one game, yeah. and it was a 3-0, too. So he's got to feel good about it. But at the same time, it's it's still tough. It's Chikorin, right? And Chikorin could swap characters if he wants to, right? Maybe he feels like the geese mm -hmm. isn't doing it. But I think right now, it, he's just going to stick with the geese and just going to try to outplay him in the matchup. Play. It's going to be a tough one for both players. I have no, like, I want to say that Chikorin's going to win or Chanel's going to win, but I can't say because... The way Chanel won that last game made it seem impossible for Chikorin to win. <laughs> well, let's see what happens here. Mishima building for game number four of our grand finals here tonight. Uh, this day did not go well for Chanel before. Let's see if it's better this time. Fight. Oh, the Yo! counters are coming out. Yeah, Chanel's getting mileage out of that right now. Yeah, and you know, just think about how, you know, Geese is supposed to be the character countering, and instead, it's Zafina. Like, what? You know that counter character is Zafina? What? Nobody said that. <laughs> and this is the same kind of situation we've seen in, la in the last round, too, right? It was Chikudin fighting back from behind, and it's not been going so well for him. Yo! Back dash right. to form up with two. Get the down for two for the launcher. Yo, Chanel, Round four rounds straight since switching to the Fina. Nice, oh, no. in the back. Ooh, you know, he could have got that rage, uh, used that meter to get hella damage, but just got it at the end, opted not to spend it. Nice side roll to avoid that. I think Chanel is getting a little too aggressive right now. Like, I mean, that's this is not the way he's played those last four rounds. Could be, right? Maybe he's feeling a little confident. I mean, that is kind of Chanel's style, right? He definitely heals himself and then gets a little cocky. Nice there. Boy. That was the punish he was looking for with the Lisa. Couldn't get it, but got it with the Safina with the wall that he won. And now he has the lead yet again. Yeah, but now chill. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Round three. Fight. He's coming, man. He's got me here. On about the same amount of health here. Ooh, nice try from Chanel. Oh, with the back three. Can he make this comeback here? It's Chanel's turn to make the comeback. He used the blue. Oh, oh boy. All right, all right. Tournament point for Chikorin here. Oh, man. Down two, down one. Big counter hit. Dumping at him? No, sir. Oh, my God. Chikurin now with the, with the fat light bleed, right? A lot of down twos, just chopping at the way at the legs. Chanel's trying to fight back here, trying to even it up. Man, it's close, dude. Chikurin has that meter, though, so Chanel can't make any mistakes or that back B2 is going to find its mark. 
Pickwin looking, looking for it right now. Told you he's looking for it right now. Yeah, it's every geese is looking for it. Even the geese players playing, not playing right now, are looking it was for it. The situation, there you have it. Chickering, three to one, wins LG Ultra Gear Fight Night for the Asia region. Nicely done to Chickering. Second place, Chanel. Third place, we had, uh oh, I forgot. <laughs> Who was it? Again. Uh, yeah, yeah, there Gen, you go. Again, it was again. <laughs> Uh, man, nicely done. Again, third place. Congratulations, everybody. But man, Chickering today looked unstoppable. You know, Chanel with that Zafina pick was looking good. The Aliso pick looked really good at first, too, right? But as we mentioned, it just started off really strong. It just seemed to get worse and worse as it went on, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so nicely done, Chickering, dude. He is a beast. He's a beast. Yeah, I mean, you we we forgot you. It's like you know, he won the last right the finals right in 2019. We haven't had one in 2020, and so it's like in 2021, it's like oh, you must have forgot, right? I'm still the I'm still the de defending champion. Don't you forget? And he defended it damn well, you know. So Chikudin, the winner here, and man, you know, well deserved too. Beating out some Definitely. great players, of course, beating Chanel, beating me, beating Ranchu. So you know, he he was he basically just went right through the t TWT finals right there. It was sick. I mean, that was the coolest thing about it, right? And obviously, Chikorin did not lose a set to anybody here tonight. You know, he took out Knee, made it look easy at some points even, right? Yeah. Uh, and just, just looked so strong. His match with Rangchu was actually very close. Very, very fun to watch close. that one. Rangchu was looking really good, but, you know, he ended up going 0-2 today. <laughs> That's how crazy this tournament was, right? Uh, it just, just absolutely bananas, you know, just craziness all around. But mm -hmm. here you see it, dude. Chikorin, your champion. Chanel second place, Gen third place, six thousand dollars for Chikorin, two thousand for Chanel. Gen gets the LG monitor. I see all you guys still typing those keywords in the chat. You know, hopefully up. some of you guys won. Yeah, LG Ultra Gear twenty seven GP eight fifty Nano IPS one MS. That's how you guys can potentially win a ten dollars Steam card or a monitor. Uh, we can win LG mod here as well. You know, personally, I've been looking at that twenty seven GP nine fifty man four K. That's so crazy, dude. Four K hundred whatever it is one hundred forty four hertz. It's nuts. Uh, I definitely need to get me a one of those at some point once they come back in stock. Yeah, remember that it's not just today, right? Tomorrow is not it's, it's not over yet. Tomorrow is Street Fighter V, and tomorrow is going to be sick too. There's three different regions going on there as well. So if you guys are into Street Fighter, if you guys are just into the great LG products, make sure to come back. Come back. It's not going to be us doing commentary, thank God, because we what? are not Street Fighter players. <laughs> but you're going to have some great Street Fighter commentary. Believe you me, it is going to be. How? What's the best way to put it? Uh, noisy. T yeah, it's gonna be tasty, and it's it's gonna be noisy. It's gonna be, and it's gonna be for for the monsters out there. You know, it's gonna yeah. be for for the Marvel monsters if you understand mm -hmm. that. You know, so there you go. Man, so it's gonna be a good time be for us, right? Exactly. But thank you guys all for joining us. Obviously, we had the Europe region to kick things off. There, we had NA, then we had Asia. It's been fantastic yep, yep. all around. Huge thanks Ooh. once again to LG Ultra Gear for putting on this event. Fight night's been a lot of fun. I'm Rip. That's Rick stuff. We'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Peace.